Welcome to our viewers. Uh, this is the Seekers of the Song. Much that was grand has been lost to time, and that which remains is but a moment to fill of the past. In an age all but forgotten, now faded to myth and legend, the ends held dominion over mighty kingdoms from metropolitan cities borne aloft by great and powerful magics. The common folk that lived on the earth had little knowledge of the occult forces and were as children to them. Tales survive that tell of an arcane orb at the heart of their civilization and a musical tradition that allowed the gods to speak with the sacred spear. Through their connection to the holy artifact, the ends ruled for many ages of the world. But alas, peace is a fleeting thing and a war among the gods rose to bathe the lands in blood and strife. For long years, the battles raged throughout the provinces. And they threatened to consume everything. The realm of the ends were revealed to be far more fragile than their masters would have imagined. And as calamities began to cascade through the kingdoms, it seemed that an end was upon Chimera. But there were those among the gods that sought to take responsibility for the mistakes of their kinsmen. These few ends gathered the common folk into verdant valleys and gargantuan arcane barriers of metal and stone were conjured. These valleys, separated by vast expanses of untamed wilderness, closed off from the collapsing kingdoms beyond and populated almost entirely by what had once been the lowest rung of society came to be called enclosures. Thousands of years have passed since the fall of the kingdoms of Chimera and within the relative safety of the enclosures, the tribes that have arisen have prospered. It is in one of these enclosures, called the Northern Enclosure, among a tribe called the Neen, that our tale begins. The realm of the Neen is nestled against the enclosure wall in the Leonin Mountains, with the southern border marked by the Geon River. The lands of the Neen are very fertile, and fish in the river are abundant. For the last few generations, the tribe has been at peace with its neighbors, the Emmis and Etrus, a mighty clan formed from the alliance of two tribes, once bitter rivals. The only major threats to the welfare of the tribe are the occasional raids of the mighty Lunari that make their home in the nearby mountains. While the territories of various tribes, and even the tribes themselves, might shift and change, most of the daily life of the inhabitants of the northern enclosure has been largely unchanged for several years. Three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, shortly after dark had fallen, once both moons were high in the heavens, a great earthquake shook the land and a crack wide enough for one to walk through opened in the wall of the enclosure near Ursha village. The chieftain of the Ursha clan of the Neen, Chieftain Ayla, sent a scouting party out beyond the wall. However, they did not return when they were scheduled to. When a few days passed without word, the chieftain placed guards at the wall. The guards have reported strange sights and sounds beyond the wall, and dark figures with glowing eyes that watch from the night. Fear grips the people of the tribe, and because the wall has remained intact until very recently, little is known about the mysterious lands beyond the wall of the enclosure. This morning, rumors abound in the village. It seems that the seer has had a vision overnight. And with that, 
let's see which player character we're gonna introduce first. And that's gonna be Kanos. So, uh, Kanos, why don't you, uh, you know, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I am Kanos, the centaur uh, barbarian. I've been training for the last six years, preparing myself to leave the enclosure because um, there was an attack six years ago that killed my parents and uh, since then many others have been lost and I've had enough and I, I want to get rid of the shadows uh, also um, the last scouting party that just left one of my friends uh, Nemo was part of that and uh, I'm I'm ready after all my, my training and uh, research I'm ready to leave the enclosure and also find my friend Nemo all right um it is quite early in the morning um and let's find out what the weather is looking like oh look at that fancy weather good lord <laughs> so uh is Rimsdane, December the 6th, the year 6856, uh, early in the first spring. It's a little bit chilly. The driving rain soaks everything to the bone today, falling from a rolling blanket of ink black cloud cover. A near freezing wind complicates matters. Travelways seem deserted as most take shelter from the storm. Oh, we're off to a great start, you guys. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna hang out in my tent for a little bit, get ready to. Uh... Oh, actually, let's, let's check and see how it looks out there. Well, yep, looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Is there is there a time that? Uh... We're supposed to be meeting up with the war chief or the the chieftain. Um, no. As of yet, there have been sort of no demands on you for today. Um, okay. you know, everybody's kind of indoors. Um, and you are, you know, pretty much free to free to do as you please. It's obviously really shitty outside, so I'm going to go back to reading. <laughs> um, all right. As you, uh, as you are reading, there is a sort of like knock on the wooden frame of the door of your tent. Hello. Uh, why don't you come in? It's, it's raining hard out there. Um, the kid that comes in, you recognize him as uh, Olin Rivers. Um, a young kid from, you know, around the village um, and uh, he, he comes in he uh, adjusts his hat and uh, sort of like wipes some rain out of his face and uh, he says um, the the chieftain uh, she she wants she wanted me to come get you um, I don't know seer wants you for something they wouldn't wouldn't tell me Okay. 
Uh, where are they? Um, I think they're both in the uh, the chieftain's hut. Um, you know that the chieftain's hut is uh, over here. And I'll ping it again. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you. Is that uh, right? if the, I got a little, I got some warm coals in here if you need to warm up. No, um, I've got other people to go and talk to. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, he, Have a good day. he ducks back outside and, um, heads off about his business. Um, All right. and he is headed this way. And and so yeah. Gather my things and start heading to the chief. All right. And uh, I'm gonna pause you about right there, and we're going to see who is up next. Oh, Mr. Oz. What's up, guys? Yeah. I am Roma Strauss. I am a quite bewildered uh, dragonkin at the moment. I woke up here about uh, a couple couple months ago, missing about six months of my memory. And since then, I have uh, settled into the village and helped around. And... Uh, I'm probably just hanging out by my fire and uh, just got probably got my pipe going and just hanging out on a, on a rainy day, looking out the window at the rain by the river. Um, sort of the, uh, the same deal. Uh, there is a knock at your door. You're actually, um, you know, one of the, well, if you here that has a house and not a tent, um, but there's a, there's a knock on your door. Yeah, we'll slowly get on up, mosey on over. I'll ash my pipe out and open the door. There's a, a rain-soaked Alden Rivers just kind of ducks in and uh, closes the door. He says, uh, it is not getting any better out there. Um, a, um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Romastraz, um, the, uh, the chieftain and the seer were looking for you, um, wanted you to come by their hut, something important, I don't know, nobody tells me anything. <laughs> Alright, kid, thanks for telling me the message, I'll be right over there. You want to warm up by the fire before you leave again? Uh, I got, I got other people I gotta talk to. Alright, you be safe out there. He dips out, closes the door behind him, um, and sort of makes back over this direction. Um, and uh, yeah, for you, you know that the uh, the chieftain's tent or the chieftain's hut is uh, over here for you. Sorry, can you ping that again? Yeah. Oh, never mind, I got it. Alright, I'll uh, just kind of hood up and start making my way over. Um, give me a perception check. Don't mind if I do. Uh, would you like that secret? Um, yes, please. Um, okay, so you notice, uh, this gentleman here, uh, Gil Bromond, uh, ducks out of the chieftain's, um, hut, and sort of, like, as you're leaving, you see him cut across, um, 
over here and uh, come around and go into his wagon. Okay. Um, am I uh, like aware of who that guy is? Uh, yeah, you know that he is sort of a a local trader uh, and kind of uh, amateur adventurer type. Um, he's uh, he doesn't have the greatest reputation, but he doesn't have a, a necessarily a bad reputation. Um, people really don't tend to not take him seriously. I'll just uh, give him give him a nod as he jumps into his <laughs> cart. Uh, quite the day we're having, huh? Or is he um, kind of like uh, dipped inside? No, he 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 hears you and and he he stops. Um, and he like looks around and he's like, "Oh yes, uh, it is rather terrible." Um. I, uh, I wish I had a roof for sunflower over there. And he points over to his, uh, literally his donkey that is chewing at these bushes over by the, uh, the water well, there. Well, friend, if you want a parker at my, is this part of my roof a little, like, overhang here? Uh, it's, it overhangs a little bit. Yeah, um, so if you want, if you want a parker under the overhang there. More than welcome. Oh, I, I do appreciate it. Thank you, good sir. And um, yeah, you see him go over here and uh, immediately begins to tug at her, and he goes, "Oh, sunflower, old girl, come, come, come on." Oh, <laughs> alas, sunflower does what sunflower wants. <laughs> um, I, I'll get her over there when she's ready, sir. At her leisure. Indeed. Um, and he, you know, pops a wave. Um, are you heading directly to the, the chieftains or? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll mosey on over to the chieftains. Okay. Um, so yeah, it is this, this building. Um, and as you knock on the door, we're going to see who we're introducing next. Uh, oh yes, uh, Daigle. Hello, I am I am Daigle. I I'm a fetchling um, who enjoys delving ruins. He, uh, <clears throat> I've I've been digging down into any ruins I could find since I was uh, a wee lad, and. Uh, uh, unfortunately, no adventure to be found. All of them were cl picked clean before I got to them. But hopefully, uh, hopefully someone, I find one soon that uh, brings up something interesting. Uh, as for today, though, um, with the rain like this and it being kind of chilly outside, uh, Daigle's actually uh, throwing on his cloak to um, head to the gathering hall. Um, it's a uh, a spot of uh, spiced mead on a cold day wouldn't go amiss. Okay. Um, and you would know that for that sort of thing, um, you would need to talk to uh, Roma Straws. Um, that's sort of the guy around here that you go to for fine, fine spirits and the like. Um, there's not really like a tavern or an inn. This village is like kind of small, but he's he's the guy. He's got a nice big table at his place. And yeah, uh, Dago's just gonna um, start getting to step outside. Um, and oh. yeah, you almost bump into <laughs> uh, Olin Rivers, and he's like, "Oh, uh, hey, uh, Dago, um." Chieftain and her mom are looking for you. Um, ah, well, I, I thank you, Olin. Uh, it seems my uh, my warm drink will have to wait. Um, 
And uh, yeah, he just kind of like taps the boy on the shoulder and then uh, heads off to 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 find the chieftain's um, house. And uh, yeah, for you, it's directly it is, northwest. Yeah, look at that house right there. All right. Yep. Um, Diggle sets off. He heads off this way. Um. And uh, yeah. Um. You can go ahead and head over there. Um, sort of as you um, come around the corner here, you see Romasra's waiting um, out front here. Uh, top of the morning there to you, Romasra's. How are you, Diggle? Uh, oh, well, I could be better. Uh, I was actually about to come see you about some uh, some spiced mead. Uh, to warm up on a day like this, but uh, you certainly seems we've both been called. <laughs> yes, perhaps yeah. after our meeting. Yeah, I look forward to it. And and you guys are like, you have already knocked, and you're just the the seer shouted to just hold on to your horses, uh, and so you're just kind of at you know awaiting her leisure in the rain. <laughs> Now let us uh, get to the side of the building here. Um, so and we're out of it, out of this mess. Yeah, and as you guys are moving around, um, we go to uh, Alistair. Hello, I'm Alistair. I'm a tall, well-built, built Tiern, with jaw-length auburn hair and piercing golden eyes. I've been in this village all my life, and for almost nearly as long, I've been plagued by dreams and visions of shadows more and more often as of late. As such, I have trained heavily to fight them in any shape that I can, armed with a breastplate passed down to me by my father and my unique hook-shaped blade the designs of which were blessed to me by my patron. The weather has left me uneasy, and I'm seeking guidance. Um, additionally, uh, upon your waking, uh, you immediately had, like, you know, you're getting up, getting ready, and a vision overtakes you. Um, you know that these kind of visions are exceptionally rare um and the like runes and lines of text crisscross your vision uh and uh things begin to coalesce um the first is this Interesting. I wonder what this could mean. I should bring this to the seer. Um, the and, uh, second one that comes is this. That's not ominous. <laughs> All right, well, Alistair is going to make his way out into the rain. He needs to track down the village's seer, someone a little more experienced than he is. Um, as you step out, uh, Olin Rivers uh, fall, like just kind of falls in behind you um, and says, Good morning, Al Alistair. Um, this has kind of become a thing of late. He's he's taken a following you around. Morning, Olin. What keeps you out in this terrible weather? Um, the 
the seer, uh, she had a, I think she may have had a vision or something. She sent me around, uh, wanted me to talk to a bunch of people and tell them to come and see her. Um, but I was walking by earlier and I, it looked like, uh, she had, she, they were, you know, keeping Daigle and Romastraw was waiting out in the rain. So if you got anything to do, you, you probably got time. Thank you. He just kind of gives you a little nod. And Alistair goes to step away. Before he does, he turns around. Oh, and Olin, have you been keeping up with your studies? Um, I need to read a little bit. Um, I don't know. Um, I was, uh, I was kind of told I needed to be out of the house today. Um, I don't know. I think Evit's doing something. So, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably try. I'll try and get to it tomorrow, though. Good, you do that. I think I will head to the sundial for a while. If the seer is ready to call us in by then, come find me there. And oh, okay. Alistair will start to move along. All, along. All right, and as you pass by, you you see Daigle and Roma Straws uh, waiting outside here. Um, they would just raise a hand to you as you pass. And uh, Alistair just kind of does the same. Uh, Nods to Roma Strauss as well as he continues on his way. Roma and, Strauss will give a little nod back. And, um, yeah, and, <laughs> and then you, you keep going. Um, and uh, as you come around right there, you see uh, Kanos coming, coming around the uh the old ruins there and uh that is gonna bring us around to delith um delith you awaken to the feeling of rain on your face um you are standing in an old ruin that is run down and you have no idea who you are or um what is going on where you are um but if you will introduce yourself to the best of your abilities <laughs> yes uh i am delith uh i'm a dungeon ancestry uh, bard fighter uh everyone here in this town thought i was just a regular crystalline statue but in actuality, I'm a construct, and uh, I have no idea who I am, what my purpose is. I'm I, I, at this point. I think I'm just gonna kind of slowly just uh, look around the area I am in because it's. Um, you immediately see Kanos, um, and Kanos. You immediately see Delith looking around. Um which is a shock. Yeah, um, I, I I imagine that as I'm rounding the corner and I, I, I see Alistair coming by, I kinda like focus like I see him and I kinda give him like a light wave and then all of a sudden out of the corner of my eye, I see the statue move. <laughs> and I'm just looking. I, I I walk forward and I'm just like. Stunned. I'm gonna stand as still as I can be. I'm just stunned, and I I'm looking at it. Did did that just move? I'm just gonna stand completely still. <laughs> and and Alistair, like, you're kinda, free to move kinda, around. Like you, yeah, kinda, you're seeing him like. I kind of like look around it 
Like, I swear, I, I just saw that thing move. And I, I take, uh, I, I, I take my sword and I kind of like jab at the foot of the statue. Please don't do that. That, that hurts. What the? F <laughs> what? What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I know. Uh, what uh, Alistair, what you, is the meaning of this? <laughs> do, do you, am I hallucinating right now? Do you see the statue moving? Talking? Unless you devised a way to throw your voice. What are you? What do you mean, what am I? What are you? Him, me? Yeah, you. Everything's blur. I don't know what I am. Just that I'm uh, here. Alistair and Kanos, give me a uh, secret perception tricks, please. Well, okay. So we're gonna start this with a, a success and a critical success. That's how it's that's how it's gonna be. Um <laughs> uh, you both immediately notice um the symbol of Oh, I gotta find my stuff. You both notice the symbol of Euron on one of his shoulders. And uh, Euron the Builder, the god of cities and structures, is a little worshipped and obscure god. Uh, the great builder is said to have devised the formidable edifices of the ancients, uh, weaving magic into them to keep them standing for ages. Uh, while few worship the builder, most of the people in the enclosure respect him and know his mark. So kind of not like, not a super worship deity, more kind of like a legendary figure type of thing, but he does have some worship. I just, I just look at Alistair and I'm like, uh, do we bow? Uh... Seeing the mark, Alistair will bow his head in, like, respect to the construct and, uh, be like, the ancient relic moves and speaks. I am Alistair. Is there something by which you may go by, friend? Relic? There's no need to bow, my friend. Uh uh, I'm, I'm Dallas. At least I think I'm Dallas. That's all that rings a bell to me. Um, I don't know about you guys, but uh, this rain is... Uh... Roma Straws and Daigle. Uh, give me... Uh, secret perception checks. Alrighty. See if they hear the giant centaur guy going, What the? <laughs> uh, Roman Stars, you're kind of just uh, zoned out, tucked under there, you know, with your pipe not really paying much attention. But Daigle, uh, you hear three voices in the in the ruins, you also know that the ruins have an overhang, and you guys will be out of the rain um, in there. Um, do I recognize any of the voices? Uh, yeah, you you recognize uh, Kanos and uh, Alistair. You do not recognize the, the third voice. Um, 
Hey, uh, Romastras, I hear a commotion over in the in the the ruined building over there. Let's say we <laughs> uh, we take a little bit more shelter from this rain and check it out. Romastras will cough a little bit as he as he clicks out his pipe again. What was that? In the ruins, you say? That's not a bad idea. Let's head over. <laughs> what the? What's uh? What's going on in here? Oh. Um. Now, a party of. Um... Hey. Oh. Um. Upon seeing the statue moving, um, Daigle is immediately in his personal space. Oh. Like, like looking him up and down, like um. Uh, trying to figure out what he is. Nagel, if you please respect the relic. Relic, uh. That's a, or Delith, as I, I suppose have, I should can, call it. Can I have some room? This is a little bit, uh. My apologies. Uh, uh, I probably oh, bump into sorry. Roe. <laughs> so, so, sorry, I, uh. I, 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 I lost myself for a moment there. It's, uh. I, I was I've been wondering for years if, uh, if this statue was something more, but uh, never never expected this. Uh, you said you, they said your name is is Delith. You would be uh, very correct. Ah, uh, oh, sorry. Where are my manners? Um, Delith, I I am Dagle. Um, I apologize for my uh, my rudeness. I uh, get a little excited. Perfectly fine. I just, I'm here and meeting new people. It's um... Roma Straws will kind of just like look him up and down, give like a, all right, and just like re reignite his pipe and just like, you want like, would you like some friend? No. What? Oh. What? Are you? What am I? Yes. Uh, I'm... <laughs> hmm, that's a quite the existential question to ask a person when you first meet them. Uh, I believe I am a, a traveler of sorts. But who who really knows? I seem to be missing quite a bit of my memory. I know. Um, and Delith, for for some reason, you you know what Alistair and Daigle are. You know that one of them is a Tyr and, and one of them is a Fetchling. Um, you, it's like one of the first things that you kind of do have known. You don't know why, but but you have no bearing on what Roma Straws or Kanos are. Kind of just catches me off guard, you and... Uh... Your horse. I, I've I've walked by you Man? like every day for years. You're talking to me about catching someone off guard. I mean, I am pretty rare around here. I, there's not many centaur folk around here. Huh. My kind resides in the mountains mostly, so perhaps that is why you do not know of not know of me or my kind um what does anyone have uh Rimora lore or geom valley lore so i i have geom valley lore i have Rimora um, lore i if, if this is pertaining to delith uh he is actually a creature and I can use esoteric lore. Okay. Well, here's your esoteric lore. Okay. Um, and anyone else you can give me uh, um, Geome Valley or Rimora lore? Uh, private? Uh, yes, please.
Uh, that includes you, Delith. Gladly roll to see what I know. What do I know about myself? <laughs> <laughs> what do I know about myself? Um. Maybe I'm the one or the man. So, um. Alistair, you know that um, if he predates the the enclosure, he probably doesn't know about um, uh, what Kanos or Romastraws are because the Tyran and Fetchlings met them in these lands. Um, as they were sort of fleeing the, you know, the collapse into here, they met the Lunari and the Dragonkin. Um, and so if he predates, you know, that time, if he hasn't been awake since then or whatever, then that might be why. Um, Daigle, you... Um, I gotta check, check of something in the notes. some cases when a fetchling or a tiurin uh, touches one of those marks on things that magical things can happen um, you also know that sometimes that can be ba can be bad hmm. so I have knowledge of, like, separate lineages. So, like, I would know that, like, the Tyrans and the Fetchlings um, were both from that time. And do I know anything about, like, the, the split of the deities? Or is that, like, something, some knowledge um, I would have picked up? Uh, that would be, I would need another, I would need okay. a check. Okay. Um... um I don't think I could ex esoteric lore that though, unless it, unless you count it as a creature. Mm -mm. And the only other lores I have are Leyline Mountain Shadow Plane, which I don't think I apply. All right. Yeah. Um, in that you case, you can do a society. You can give me a society. Uh, I'll, I'll give it a shot. It's like, but I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> and, yep. Nope. Yeah, there it is. I, I should have oh, been secret, but uh, first net one of this. Yeah, of the you're, you're good. But yeah, you. Um, That's uh, you, like, you don't know much about why, why, or when, or what happened there. Yeah. Um, so I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll tell the rest of the group what I know. Like, um, yeah, uh, according to what I found out in my studies, uh, anytime there's a mark like the one on uh, Della's shoulder here, uh, if a fetch thing or a Turin touches it, uh, sometimes interesting things can happen. But it can also be... It can also be bad. Um, and... It could depend on the, uh, the deity in question. I mean, I'm As you are talking, um, a... Uh, woman comes around the corner um you recognize this as the chieftain of your village and she comes as she comes around the the corner she is uh she looks kind of stern and then she sees Delith and she just stops uh 
just, you know, dead in her tracks, um, looking at him. Yeah, that's what I did. Oh, <laughs> oh good morning, Chief. Uh, uh, what brings you out in this atrocious weather? Not a sorry, Chief. Uh, I love I, the, the seer is ready to speak with all of you. Um, she wanted me to give you a scolding, but uh, I can now see why you weren't there when she was ready. Um, she like leans around Dagle and she goes, What are you? I am me? That's, uh, that's oh. all I really know. Do you have a name? Delith? That's that's about it. That's well, all I can remember. Well, Delith, um, the seer will most definitely want to speak with you. And I am going to... <sighs> oh, well, you know how Mother can be. And she says, come on, all of you. And she starts walking uh, towards her hut. Yeah, let's just shrugs and then follows. Come along, Roma Straws. Don't get left behind. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, do I need to scree squeeze through? <laughs> um, you don't need to roll it, but it, it does take you a minute to squeeze <laughs> into the doorway. And uh, as you as you do the entire time, uh, the seer Halder Redstone is just... <sighs> oh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> He is going to break the frame of that door. No, <sighs> I'm not. I'm fine. I made it. <sighs> We're we'll, all good. we'll close it behind you. It's raining. Cats and dogs. I'm sorry. Uh, now, mm. she like turns to Delith, and she she's the first person that doesn't look surprised at you. And she turns and looks at her daughter, the chieftain, and says, <laughs> "I told you so." Didn't I? And the chieftain just... Yes, you did. Um... I have had a vision last night that all of you are to go beyond the wall. All of you and... Gil. Gil? Really? He doesn't seem the adventuring type. Knowing full well that he does, like, do some light adventuring. She, she shrugs. Uh, anybody that likes can give me a secret perception for a little sense motive. I would love to. The, uh, i refresh the stream real quick. The, uh, main panel. There we go. Um... All right, um, so as I'm looking at stuff, 
Um, so, Deleth and Kanos? There's, there's definitely something fishy um, with her um, with her wanting to include Gil. You, you can't put your finger on it, but I, I don't know who this Gil person is, but uh, we had a vision that all of us were going outside the wall. But I, I just recently woke up and uh, kind of want to kind of figure out who I am and what my purpose is. And... I I understand all of that. <clears throat> but um the visions don't lie i uh, i saw what i saw and you all are bound to go beyond the wall we have to send more to look for the missing uh scouts anyway If you saw it in a vision, I suppose it must be true. Well, I, for one, am excited for an opportunity to go beyond the wall. I don't know about the rest of you. Beyond the wall sounds like an adventure that I can get behind. I'm ready to finally go out there. Plus, I, I need to find Nemo. Maybe I'll finally find some uh, some neat magical shit. Yes, I really don't have a choice. I, I have no home, and I'm basically a stranger to this area, so I, I guess this is a way to... Uh, find my path. Yeah. I am quite remiss to leave our beautiful chieftain behind, however. <laughs> and Rumbleshrouse will kind of just like kick back with his pipe and like shoot a smirk at Ayla. He immediately just scowls at you and, and as soon as she turns to scowl at you, her mother immediately is like, Ah, yes, I do hope that she will find a husband soon. And the two of them share a, a glance that, um, well, all of you here, the, the tension between these two ladies could be cut with a knife. <laughs> well, um, uh, Deleth, it, it, uh, it seems to strike me that uh, the mark on your shoulder is that of um, of Urag, uh, the the builder. And I, I'm, if I remember correctly, it seems that the uh, the walls were of his design. So if we were to go out to this wall per se, uh, you may find some clues as to who you are. Daigle does bring up a good point. There is much ancient construction there. And and Daigle's like talking quick, like he's like trying to uh to change the topic. <laughs> as much as he's trying to convince Deleth. Would help maybe jog something. Oh <laughs> lead on, I'll I'll follow. Well, um, I'm certainly not prepared for a journey, uh, just yet, so um, we would. As you guys are talking outside, uh, Kanos, Gil comes walking up, um, and just, he's just sort of like hanging out out here, waiting on everybody, but as he is doing that, um, this woman 
who you recognize as um, Lena Dustfeld. Uh, she comes rushing up and she says, Kanos, have you seen, uh, have you seen, um, have you seen Molly? I can't find her anywhere. I haven't seen her today. <sighs> um, she, she says, I, I've been, I've been all over the village. I am, I, she's missing. I am afraid that she's gone after her father. You think she went beyond the wall? I, the, it is my darkest fear at the moment. How far is it travel time to the wall? Um, it's a, it's a few miles. So I would uh, less than a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Sure. Even well, in this kind of weather, less than a day. Okay. She uh, she picked a terrible day for travel. Um. Uh, I suppose that that expedites our timeline somewhat. Um. And. We should probably go look for her. There's that's that's Gil, and um. He doesn't look like he'll try to backstab us at all. And that is uh, (laughs) Lena. He's more likely to pander to us. Um, you also know, um, where are you at? Um, That is Molly. Uh, you you know she's known kind of as like an urchin around the village. Like she's she's always getting into trouble. Um, is kind of known for it. So this is not not that surprising to some of you that are familiar with with the goings on here. Um, we we were just about to leave. Uh, the enclosure ourselves uh, we will be sure to keep an eye out for I am actually going to um, um, Lena could you show me where you uh, where you last saw Molly um, she will um and I'm going to make Molly my hunted prey. Oh, goodness me. Um, <laughs> uh, she is going to take you. Um, yeah, I've been not nefarious in a nefarious yeah. sense, um, <laughs> obviously. But yeah, she is going to uh, go over here, um, open the door, and uh, step into uh, her small family home. And she points to her bed right there. Um, okay. And... Um, and yeah, since she's my hunted prey, um, I get a bonus to any perception checks I make to, uh, track or seek her. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I would like to like do a, a search, uh, see if, see if I come up with anything that might give me an identity idea as to where she may have gone. Uh, let's see, that's a secret perception. Hunted prey bonus. Um, so it looks like she jumped up and got free. It looks like she raped some of their food, and all signs point to, you know, based on some of the stuff that you, as you and her mom, go over the uh, the room here. Um, her mom notices that one of her like large backpacks is missing. There's a bunch of food missing over here. And yeah, you, it, it looks like she was indeed preparing for, um, for an extended journey. journey of some sort. Okay. Um, I mean, with this in this rain, 
it actually might be somewhat easier to track her down. So, um, don't worry, Lena. Uh, we will do everything we can to find your daughter and bring her back safe. Um, so, qu point of point of question for my character specifically. Um, at this point, uh, do I, have I found my, my lantern implement, or is that? Um. Um. So. Uh, yes, yeah, you have the, the lantern implement, um, it was given to you by the, the seer, Halda, on the day that the crack in the wall appeared. Okay. All right. Um, and cool. she told you, she told you you would need it soon, but she said she couldn't tell you anything else. Okay. All right. Um, well... Uh, I will go and gather the others and set about uh, preparing for a journey um, so that we can track down Molly. And just I'll, I'll let the rest of the group know what I found and that we are like for sure she is for sure she is uh, attempting to go beyond the wall herself. And um, she she thanks you. Uh, as you leave, and you see, it looks like she's starting to, to pack up some things herself. Okay. Um, as you guys are sort of all gathering out here, uh, Gil pipes up and says, um, I, uh, I've got uh, Sunflower ready to go, and I have spent the morning uh, gathering supplies for our journey beyond the wall. I am... Uh, I'm fully stocked and ready to go if uh, if you are. I, I have rations and everything else we will need. Um, you may want to stop by um, your honor, uh, not your honor, um, uh, what's his name, Urel, the fellow. Um, he, you know, he may have some goods we might need or perhaps uh, Miss Evid, but uh, dare I say, unless you have any final preparations, uh, we, we are very well ready to go. Well, that's uh, that's very kind of you there, Gil. Um, I'm actually going to grab my pack and uh, I'm ready to go as well. Yeah, I'm gonna go get my uh, my armor and my weapons. Uh, yes, let me uh, grab a couple of refills from my pack as, as well as my pack and uh, I will meet you all back here in the town square. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I imagine we just grab our stuff and meet back up. It's gonna kind of sit here out in the rain going, yeah, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> 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 Who am I? Help! <laughs> uh, we, uh, we appreciate uh, you coming along on this, Delith. Um, sorry to delay your, your, uh, search for who you are, but, um, Molly is important to our village. Um, and then, uh, in addition, um, you guys would know that, um, uh, Yvid lives up here in this house. Um, he's sort of the local apothecary. Um, and, uh, you know that, um, Urel lives. Where you at, Urel? Um, he lives here. Okay, the apothecary is that. That's the other house. That's yeah. That's Yvid. She's over here, and uh, Urel is the smith. Um. So I'm gonna go to the apothecaries. Actually, make a stop. Um, and see if she's got any, like, health potions for the road. Um, and as Daigle is heading over there, um, 
and looks like Kanos is headed over there as well. Um, yeah, you, you knock on her door. Uh, she immediately is, uh, says, uh, do, do come in. Um, and looks up and, uh, says, oh, uh, Daigle and Kanos. Yes, what do you need? Uh, and, uh, um, this is the local apothecary, Evid. Yeah. Um, Mistress Evid, uh, we, we were about to set on a journey, unfortunately, uh, rather short notice, and I was wondering if you might have any health potions for sale. Oh, um, yes, I, I, I do have some wares for you. Um, and yeah, she is, uh, she's a shop. You can double click her and buy some stuff. Um, so the other thing too is I, uh, I'm gonna be like, uh, oh, she doesn't actually have any potions of healing. Uh, hold on. Uh, this is the smith and this is the apothecary. Oh, okay. Um, say, Evid, um, I see that you have this serene mutagen here, and, uh, unfortunately, I don't quite have enough gold, uh, for it. Could you perhaps give me a, a small discount, and then I can pay you the difference later? Uh, is this, um, <laughs> are you helping out, um, are you helping out Lena with Molly and going going to the wall? Uh, yes. So we're trying to track her down and um, kind of kind of in a in a bit of a rush. You got You see her kind of mull it over a second. She says, well, "How much do you have? What can you give me for it?" Um, I I can give you um, two gold and five silver. That's uh, unfortunately about all I have. I'll uh, I'll I'll take it. For the girl, um, and yeah, you can just give yourself four gold in total and then purchase it. Okay. Um, um and D Daigle, uh, like he, he says, uh, I, I really appreciate this, uh, Evid. Um, I, I'll be sure to bring you the difference later. Thank you. Um, and she says, did, did anyone else need anything? If you do need some help, if it's, you know, for the good of the people here, I, I will assuredly help you. This village has been all too kind to us. And uh, yeah, you know that her and Olin came here from the south. Like, don't really, neither one of them really talks about it. Uh, it took them, uh, it took Olin over a year before he would even speak mm. uh, when they first came here. Um, so yeah, whatever they whatever they went through was was pretty bad, and the village just did totally take them in, and she immediately sort of you know became the local ap apothecary and potion lady, um, and so yeah, she's very pro she's very pro Ursha village. Um, oh yeah. So. Does, uh, does anybody have anything else they need to do? Uh, no, I think I'm all set. You uh, should definitely uh, go stop by and see Yorel before you leave. Um, that's this guy here. Yeah. Um, and Alistair, as you come in, uh, Yorel Golden Hand and uh, Randon Skyrunner are seated at the table uh just finishing up breakfast um and you can see a lot of his he's got a lot of his stuff um and sort of like where's stuff that he's smithed uh sort of on the shelves and everything here um and he greets you he's oh 
whole lot of you this morning. Uh, uh, something to do. You guys going out and hunting down Molly? Uh, yes. She seems to have gone towards the wall, so... We are just packing up any last-minute last, last minute supplies and head, heading off. Well, uh... He just kind of gestures around. He said, I'm gonna finish up my breakfast with my boy here, and, uh... You know, if you need anything, we'll, we can discuss it. Um... As he's doing this, you all n- notice that like one of his arms is just made of gold. Um, still functions. He uses it like a you know normal arm, but it seems to be made of metal. Um, you also know um, that the kid here that he referred to as his his boy um, is uh, a. 12 year old orphan uh, and he's sort of a religious, he's very very religious uh, and studies uh, a lot of the faith of the different ends um, and yeah, you're, he has no one else and Urel took him in um, um, that actually strikes, strikes a note with me um uh, R- Randon, uh, perchance, um, do you happen to know more of the history of the ends? Um, our friend, uh, Deleth here, uh, has a mark on his shoulder. And I know that these marks can have effects when, um, when a fetchling or a Turin touches them, but I can't for the life of me remember if there's any particular rule to that. Um, he looks up, looks around, looks at, uh, he looks at Deleth, and this is sort of the first time he's realized, like, he's had, he's had his head down, sort of nose in a book, kind of, like, half eating his breakfast, and he looks up over that and sees Deleth, and, and his jaw drops, and he looks at you, and he looks at Deleth, and he looks, and he's just looking around wide-eyed, and he goes, um, no, I really... I, I don't think it it matters really. Um, okay. Sometimes it needs to be, you know, if the if the ends that created it was Tyrion, then it, usually a Tyrion, you know, can work in some cases. But sometimes a Fetchling will too. It, there doesn't seem to be a lot of rhyme or reason to it. Okay, um, that's good to know. I. I... I couldn't remember, and uh, I wanted to consult uh, with you before I um, before I went and touched it. <laughs> I've had a few few bad experiences in the past, and uh, um, I didn't want to, to cause any problem. Oh no, no, oh, no worries. Um, I appreciate it. Few so seldom think to come to me because of my my youth, but. I am quite well read. Yes. Oh, well, I appreciate your assistance. Um, and this could have been like a whole, like a, a side thing, uh, unless um, unless Ural is over here, like goggling at Deleth as well. Um, he he is, but he has a certain wariness to him uh you know that his arm is sort of the result of of him messing with ancient artifacts and so he's a little bit more leery than than one of my people (laughs) he's already poked the bear and seen the result Yeah. (laughs) yeah hmm um but yeah ural is a ural is also a um a shop you can double click him he uh he does have some stuff um looks like kanos kanos grabbed some burnished plating um yes, and you know threw a sort of a mouthful of porridge uh you're all like ah, thank you thank you kindly <laughs> thank you um gonna need this oh uh hey 
uh, one of you, one of you, uh, you grab the old tent over there. And he points, he points to an old tent, uh, and says, take it, take it with you. Uh, much appreciated. I, uh, just, I uh, spent pretty much the rest of the money I had, um, over at Evers's place. Um, so, uh, and with the weather like this, a tent is going to be very nice to have. And is that the tent that is in his, uh, shop inventory? Yeah, 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 just, yeah, just don't buy it, just grab it. Okay. Um, also, the little thing I noticed, um, Evis is coded as a loot table instead of a merchant. Oops. I'll yeah, fix that. It's, it's fine, I just, yeah. <laughs> Good uh, to also, know. I, I can't grab the pup tent. Um, oh, he reaches won't. for their coins, but comes up short. <laughs> um, um, okay. Yeah, so I think you have to do I'll, it. I'll give it to you. You're good. Um, How do you buy with the merchants? Because I don't see like a buy. You just, you just drag over to your character sheet and if oh, you have the money, it'll automatically it deduct it. Takes your nice. Yeah, yeah it's, that's very convenient, actually. Unless you come up short. <laughs> yeah, unless you come up short. <laughs> there you go. Uh, it ex I accidentally put it in your belt pouch, but... That's fine. I'll, just, I'll move it to my backpack. All right. Um... And then, yeah, uh, so the only thing left is, uh, as you guys are leaving town, um, you know, leaving Urals, uh, Gil comes up, you know, uh, with a rope leading Sunflower with the wagon and, um, meets you guys. And as you head up here, um, you don't have to head down there to meet Gil. Uh, he's, I was about to bring him to you guys. Um. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm not going to bring the wagon for this. Yeah. Uh, um, this elderly gentleman is uh, waiting outside. And as you all come up, you can see that he has got a backpack and a spear. Oh, I also forgot. Here's a... Uh, there's... URL and um, there is Brandon Skyrunner and um, this is uh, Tobin the Elder. Um, and as you come, you guys come walking up, uh, he um, is standing here, he's got his backpack on, he's got his spear, sort of, you know, using it as a walking stick, and uh, he gives his, his beard a stroke. Um, this old dude is ancient. He's been around forever. Uh, no one even really knows how old he, he is. Uh, you know, he's also a little bit like senile because he is so, so very old. Um, he is blind in his uh, left eye. His pupil is blown out and it looks like he took a blow to the head that left him with a big scar across his face. Um, and as you step out, he says, uh, I was wondering where, when all of you were coming around, um, I'm coming with you. Huh? Oh, hold on there, old timer. <laughs> this this is hardly the adventure for. Uh, not a yeah. Uh, for the unprepared. Look here, you beardless whippersnapper. The only one of you in the bunch that has deserves any respect is old Kanos over there. Because he's the only one of you that's man enough to grow a big bushy beard. Canos <laughs> <Kano> just <laughs> chuckles. Uh, Dango just has a big grin on his face because, like, at this point, he's used to this guy's antics. What about uh, yeah. what about old Gil here? He's got he's got a some nice peat pe fuzz, you can call it. He's got a five o'clock shadow on a good day. <laughs> Are you 
you sure you're ready to endanger your lives? Don't you tell me what I'm in danger. You're a walking statue. What's that, Grandma? No, I'm going with him. Yeah. Does this guy seem phased by Delith at all? No. <laughs> He's also, though, he lo just looked over and was talking to someone who's not there at all. Yeah. <laughs> um. Who's this grandma? This is the uh, ghost of my grandmother. <laughs> uh. The old bat haunts me. She'll haunt me till the end of my days. Um. No, Grandma. So, real quick, is he? Uh, I'm gonna pull out my lantern real quick. Is he being haunted? Can I do a check for that? Uh, he is indeed being haunted. <laughs> you don't even need to check. As soon as the lantern comes out, you see the ghost of a woman standing to the side of him. And she sort of like recoils a little bit from the light of the lantern. Okay. Um, can I? And everyone can see this in the light yeah. of the lantern as well. <laughs> um, by by George, you're right. Woman. It seems, uh, it seems you are actually haunted. Uh, I'm going to use my haunt ingenuity. Um, is there a way I can disable this haunt? Um, uh, can this, okay, uh, yes, um, she can be disabled with a couple different things, um, religion? Um, society or Rimora lore. This is also a haunt, so I could use esoteric lore. True. Um, I would like to use esoteric. Okay. I'm gonna lay my mm -hmm. hand on Bagel and go. Good luck. <laughs> one of you, one of you has to say, "Be gone, hot." <laughs> Uh, there's your esoteric uh, lore. Don't forget to give your, your yep, guidance. Give the guidance. Um, don't know that uh, the guidance is applied automatically. Just making sure I got all my. Yeah. Uh, also, I would get a recall knowledge from my lantern. I don't know if it's applying that or not. Um, it did. Okay. You're good. Um, and uh, you you su succeed. Um, you know that uh, she was. It seems like she was given improper like burial rites, and you were able to recite some that may not be the perfectly correct ones, but there's ones that you know. Um, and also, like, my, my deity is one of the pair that buries souls as well. So I would probably yeah, just recite a, 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 um, a rite of Riddus. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and as you do, she, she sort of, you know, you hear her in a faint spectral voice, you know, tell him, you know, goodbye. Goodbye, my little one. And she is you know, lifted away, and you have relieved him of this haunt, and, uh, he, like, looks at all of you, and he's like, Oh. Oh. It's so good to be, to be free of her, and know that she can finally get some rest. Uh, thank you, boys. Um, maybe I was wrong about you. Maybe we you were just clean-shaven by choice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, we will be okay, um, Master Tobin. Uh, we appreciate your concern, and uh, you should probably get some rest yourself. This weather can't be good for your old bones. Uh, you're not wrong. And a nap doesn't sound too bad. Here, here how, about, how about a little of this to help you sleep, and I'll just pipe, canter it. And, uh, he... 
he, uh, you know, gladly partakes and then sort of shuffles inside. Uh, you boys be safe beyond the wall. I'm, I'm gonna take that nap and I'll, I'll come out after you later. It's, it's been a long morning. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he steps inside and All right. sort of closes the tent flat behind him and passes out. a nice out. fellow. <laughs> yeah. Um, and with that, uh, you guys are sort of free to leave the village. And we will go to the regional map. Excited. Oh, dude. I can't see nothing. (laughs) Open your eyes, son. Wait, can you really not see? No, no, no. I'm uh, no. I'm just being like, it's uh, all, it's all like, fog it's all covered. Or, yeah, covered yep. by the fog of war. Your eyes, do not worry. Um, we gotta discovers it. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah. And, so, uh, as we're as we're leaving out, I'm gonna make sure to pick up the trail um, on Molly. Okay. Um, uh, and I'll actually I'll pull out my lantern to give me that bonus on top of my hunt prey bonus. Okay. Um, um, I'm going to play music for a song while we go because that's just what's going to happen. <laughs> Roma Straws will sing along, and it's not good, but it's like that ras- like raspy, like kind of like I don't even know how to describe it. It's like that. It's like the raspy, like it's not. It's not bad. Like he's on key and stuff, but he doesn't have like a good voice. <laughs> it's like when an actor who doesn't really sings who doesn't really sing like they sing but they have like singing lessons and stuff and it's just like passable and that's that's it uh wait, tracking is survival not perception i guess perception is locate the trail and then survival to to track it mm-hmm. all right um in that case uh here is that survival check ah, that should have been secret my bad <laughs> um, you're able to find the trail that is sort of about like bare minimum uh, yeah. but she's she is not like hiding her trail at all like right this is a little kid mm-hmm. just sort of stomping through the, the you know the terrain out here and it's not super difficult to to maintain the trail um a few hours brings you to the wall um it is I went a little bit too far uh yeah it's about about 2.30 uh, in the afternoon, by the time that you hit the wall, uh, Gil and Sunflower uh, behind you. Um, the the crack in the wall looks just barely big enough to put that wagon through. Um, and the, the sort of the guards here, you know, upon here, and that you guys are going out to look for this little girl and the missing scouts, they are um you know more than happy to let you pass without argument and uh as they, we're coming up to it did um, they see molly yeah i was gonna say i would like to ask how this little girl snuck past these guards <laughs> um they both um they say there is no way that she came through here they were both watching however the trail very clearly comes comes through here <laughs> um they're both adamant, like both of them like we weren't sleeping we were uh, uh sense motive yep right there with me <laughs> Uh, Alistair, you think that that one of them 
what, what was the thing that's the Alice just kind of looks them both up and down and just be like, All right then, but if we find the girl beyond the wall, you will have some explaining to do. Didn't you guys learn from the incident with Jeffrey? Who's Jeffrey? Uh, we don't talk about him much. Oh. <laughs> um. Um. As we're approaching the wall, too, Delith is going to look over at uh, Delith and it's like, hey, man, um, Delith, uh, is the sight of this wall doing anything for your memory? I don't know. Is it? Is it doing anything? Is it jogging any of my... My stony... My stone cells? <laughs> it feels... It feels familiar... But more than that, no. Like, it does feel... The wall does feel familiar to you. But, uh, it was... It was worth a shot. I just gotta look up. Feels familiar, but... That's it. Uh, Dallas is kind of like... Uh, gives you like a... Half shrug, and he's like, well... It was worth a shot. Um... We'll, we'll keep looking. the wall more thoroughly after we've found the girl. Yes. All right, so you guys are just heading on through them? Yep. Um, and you're just direct following her trail? Uh, yes. Like, she is priority numero, numero uno. <laughs> All right. Especially since she is, somehow got beyond on the wall. It's about 6 p.m., uh, as you, you know, start to get out beyond the wall, the terrain here is is very different than what you are used to. Um, it is very, very much flat, uh, and there are not very many trees. Um, hmm. It is also very, like, by the time that you get even just this far out, uh, it is very cold. Oh, jeez. Um, and we are talking, um, in fact, um, we're going to get a weather change. Oh, my word. And snow and lightning. Yeah. Damn. Um, and as you get out this far, it is a full-on um, snowstorm, uh, complete with lightning, um, biting wind, snowfalls constantly punctuated by concerningly close lightning strikes, illuminating an otherwise dark day. Biting wind accompanies the misery. Despite it all, the occasional break in the cloud cover, cover seems to indicate somewhat better weather tomorrow. Uh, as you are getting out here and it's getting colder and colder like this, um, down to, you know, freezing temperatures, uh, Gil sort of stops and brings out a bunch of heavy cloaks, um, for everybody. Nice. Gil. Um, Please tell me you brought a uh, blanket for, uh, for so Sunflower. Uh, he did. He brought yes. a blanket for Sunflower and he, he, um... As he approaches Kanos, he says, uh, My good man, um, would you prefer a blanket or a cloak? Dealer's choice. I would like a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and he throws a, throws a blanket over the back of Kanos. Sorry, I was muted. You didn't hear me. Oh, <laughs> blanket, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he throws a, throws a blanket over your back and uh, says, if, uh, if that doesn't suit you, let me know. I always have the cloak as well. And uh, stuffs it back in, the, back in the wagon. <laughs> he's, if the man wants both, he's more than welcome. I'm fine. He's Very well. The other one, too. Let's do it. Uh, <laughs> he tucks it away. You can see Kato's is not having it. Um, you can see 
a uh, building in the distance. Um, you you think you can make it by nightfall, and it looks to be sort of by all indications, as you know, Daigle is following the trail. It looks to be where this girl headed. Um, and then Daigle, give me a secret survival. Okay. Um. Is this uh, to track, or is that, or this is this involving Molly, or is this just a general survival? This is general. Yeah. Okay. This is to see if you notice some other stuff, like sort of as a side thing. That was. Um, I don't know why that wouldn't didn't roll up secret, but you're oh, good. we um, we didn't do uh, hero point cards. Oh, you are right. Oops. Let's, yeah, uh, that that might that not be a nat one. <laughs> Yeah, let me do that real quick. Um, could could I also use like a um, a lore skill or something, or is this just purely... no? No, this is, has okay. to be survival. Okay. Um, All right. There's those, and nice. And I mean to <laughs> there are those. Uh, oh. We're supposed to click our hands in chat, or are they supposed to immediately? As uh, soon as I clicked my hand in chat, it, it populated. Oh, yeah, you can also click the cogwheel and it'll just give it. Yep. Them, yeah. Let me go ahead and play the hero points. Yeah, you can already you go ahead and play those if you if you got them. Uh, it's not letting me play it to the discard stack. It says current current cards is undefined. Weird. Hmm. Have you set your uh? card deck yet by clicking the cog wheel because I think you have to actually like assign yeah, I, your deck I did um, yeah, I'm having the same issue that guy just recently updated that module it very well may have something to do with that um yeah oh let me shit, try I got, a, I got a double hero point card try this so. try now If it still does it now, then it's definitely that module, and I'll look into it. Yeah, it's the yeah, module. module. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's All right. Yeah. That's that's fine. We have the cards. Just well, we, you can also points. left click it and just and just face it backwards and just give yourself yeah. a point. Yeah. Do the face down. Yeah. Yeah. Or I'm sorry, right click it. Um. And yeah, and like I said, I'll look into that. Um. Double um, points. Mm. I only got one. All One right. is the loneliest um, number. Yeah, so I'm gonna actually re-roll that survival check with a hero point. I feel like this. Oh my god! On that one. <laughs> wow! That was happening. Where Achievement where unlocked, where? my dudes. Yeah, one second. That's the first. <laughs> we that's the you. first one right there. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> re-roll a hero point and get Thanks. the same result. Thanks for the TikTok, Ginger. Yeah, thanks for the <laughs> <laughs> double that once. Uh, you think I didn't roll well this time, but let me tell you something. You weren't going to roll well this time. You rolled that once. <laughs> the double ones club. Welcome yeah. to the club. Hey, guys. Oh, damn. Double ones club. Well. <sighs> I guess I get nothing. <laughs> um, I need to stop looking yeah. at my ass. Can, can okay. anyone else attempt that check or no? Uh, yeah, anyone else can. Um, not not that I'm very good at it, but <laughs> secret. You never know. Oh, sorry, my bad. Oh. Yep, you're good. Everything must be. I, I remembered to roll private at the last second. <laughs> Whoops. Um. You, you both you both succeeded um it looks like this is the same direction that the scouts headed um there were four of them 
This is the, you know, this is the first thing that you can kind of see out here is this structure. And it looks like this is the same direction that they headed as well. Um, and yeah, so it looks like, you know, sort of two birds with one stone here. Um, and, uh, Uh, yeah, night has fallen um, as you reach um, check some stuffs. Um, do do do. Um, as you sort of, you know, begin to make your approach, as it's getting dark, uh, Gil, you know, sort of stops. He's still, you know, he's still a mile or two off of the, the ruins, um, that you guys can see now very, very pretty clearly. It's just sort of a small structure. Um, Gil stops and he's like, I, uh, Sorry, my fellows, I am not going to be able to take Sunflower or the wagon ahead in the dark, um, but uh, I can go ahead and set up the tents and get a camp set up back here for us uh, if you want to uh, push ahead. So he, he doesn't make it all the way to the building? No, no. He would get, he's about a mile, mile and a half out. Sounds like a plan, Gil. Um, we can the, the, take care of yourself. Yeah, I'll set him up with some fires and torches and such. Okay. And uh, and yeah, he he begins you know setting up camp, and um, you guys head out to the ruins. Wait that, and get our whose POV do I want? We're gonna go with Alistair because he can't see in the dark. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Alistair like concentrates and just light begins to glow around him. <laughs> yeah, we're cruising. Cruise. I, I, I am light. light. Has his lantern out. What's funny is like I wasn't sure the nighttime was working because Fetchling just sees normally in the dark. Yeah, Rumashraz will also actually. It's always pop daytime some, for me. Pop some dancers. Um. Like a beacon in the night, Alistair advances on the uh, structure. Actually, I'm um. <laughs> We can see it. Uh, everybody give me uh, a secret um, perception check. I was going to say, I do see someone. Um, Who do you see? I see Bert's near death on the ground over here. You should definitely not be able to see him. And so he, the, no, I think he can because his over. dark vision has no limit range, right? Uh, yeah, there's, he's there's not no wall outside. Right. He's down ten feet. Oh. Um, yeah, so he's in, he's in the structure. You don't see nothing. Uh, deselect yourself and select yourself. I fixed it. You're, you're fixed seeing it. God mode. Yeah, you <laughs> were. You it's were not in. fixed anymore. What? Yeah. For a second, and then it. And then yeah. it uh, cause it's because I moved him. Yeah, yeah. Well, I like to call wall hacks. Can we uh, bam? Yeah. <laughs> Perma per uh, birds. Perma um, bam, please. Uh, let's see. Secret perception, though. Yeah, and Sorry. I will do that. This this does not does this include the lantern implement bonus or? Um. Is it within the first light increment? Because are, are are you seeking? It's with seeking, right? No, it's any perception check for anything that's inside the. Uh, Oh, sorry, it's it's not any perception to check. It's uh, it's it's a notice. It's just checks to notice. Yeah. 
So if that's what this is, and it's within our, it's within the 20 feet, then it would work. If it's not, then it would. I, but it's, it, I'm just going to roll it without. Um, we'll go from there. All right. You can hear something coming from mm. back here in the darkness. Back where? Ah. Oh, like around the side. Yeah, around yeah. the side. Um, and as you step around the corner, we're going to pause because that's going to be oh. the initiative. Oh, shit. Uh, ho. Ho, ho, ho. You dare approach me? Can't see nothing. That sounds about right. Oh. <laughs> God tier initiative. <laughs> What's up? Every every time someone clicks to roll, I get deselected on one of the enemies. Oh shit! <laughs> so I was literally having to wait, and every time I would go to do it, <laughs> it oh my me off. Oh dear. Um. Oh, the meme train cometh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's three of them. All right. And we're going to get... I didn't even have time to start the... Should have started the other playlist for you guys, but... It's fine. Better late than never. Yeah. That playlist started, and... Is this the Fire Emblem fight song? Uh, no. This is one that... I paid for. <laughs> um, oh, there's one. Yeah. Um, uh, do, 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 do. Um, I think it's going to shuffle over here. And then it's going to shuffle down here. And uh, shuffle a little more. Um, that is its turn. It's Romus Rose's turn. Um, since Romastra's kind of just <laughs> seeing seeing Dago kind of freeze up over there, and uh, he can't really see too well himself, so he's gonna go ahead and uh, dance and lights the area. And uh, okay, so it's here's the four floating lights. Yeah, we'll put one in. Oh, it's also 120 feet. Hold on, I gotta measure. Yeah, you can just kind of go like, pick, 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 pick. I mean, 120 feet, I think, is gonna be pretty much anywhere you want <laughs> that you can okay. see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, oh. <laughs> yeah, you, you could pretty much go anywhere. They just have to be within 10 feet of each other. Yeah, yeah. Well, two squares, right? Yep. Yep. Two. I mean, you're probably good with just that one because <laughs> now we're gonna start. Yeah, we don't over, don't want to overload it. Yeah, too bright, so there. yeah. Yeah, well, it's got to stand within 10 feet, so yeah. He's just going to put those two down, just to illuminate the area, and then uh, I'm going to move. And that's it. That's my turn. I got to end turn. It's Kanos' turn. Um, there's... Oh, uh, seeing him, um, Kanos is going to, uh, interact to draw his sword. And then, uh, he's just gonna fucking run right over there. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. <laughs> and attack him. And it and that is all my actions. So that is gonna do <laughs> that much damage. As you take a chunk out of this guy, 
and you can see that it is a shambling sort of uh, undead. Uh, and it is Della's turn. Like. Let's take care of these uh, abominations. Time. The time is now. Um, yeah, and just use your aura macro that you got. Click the button. Inspire me. Click, clicky the button. Very Boom. Cool. Nice. That aura system is so good. Whoever yeah, coded that is a living god. <laughs> Bounced him back. You just juked. That will be my turn. Since Kanos is in front of me, I'm feeling pretty safe. So I'm going to um, first action, I'm going to hunt prey on the zombie in front of Kanos. Um, here's that action, so you can put a... I don't even know if it's necessary, but uh, if you want to, you can put an extra poor effect on it. Um, second, I'm going to exploit vulnerability. Um, so that is a recall knowledge with... Not a recall knowledge, it's a esoteric lore check against its um, uh, DC of its level. level. Uh, it's not a recall knowledge, but I do, get the, I do get the lantern bonus. Yeah. I just have the one for esoteric lore. Yeah. Um, and... That one is just the... That gives me... So on a success, I get its highest weakness. On a critical success, I get all of its weaknesses, resistances, and immunities. Um, and that also lets me add bonus damage on my attacks against it. So... What do you get for triple ones? Are you fucking serious right now? Holy shit, bro. You what? what is... You can't roll anything uh, but a one. Dear diary. Oh my goodness. Uh, so, you so get... here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. On a, on a critical failure of uh, exploit vulnerability, you couldn't remember the right object to use and become distracted while you rummage through your esoterica. You become flat-footed until the beginning of your next turn. Right. So I'm I'm flat footed <laughs> until I, I know what flat footed for this. Um, um, rummaging around in his bag. <laughs> God damn it, Dangle! I need you to stop looking. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. Fucked it. I'm gonna I'm gonna recall knowledge on this thing. Um, um, and for that I'm also gonna use esoteric lore, but it's an actual recall knowledge check. All right. And on this one, I actually get my Hunted Prey bonus. Here's my plus 10. Please, not, plus don't 10 be another that one. Four in a row. Um, four in a row. No. Do it. It's not four in a row. He actually succeeded. He rolled pretty good. <laughs> okay. Um, so, Jesus. I have to invent a new uh, um, achievement for right? the whopping four in a row. Another one. Three, and you... another one. Literally another one. You know that this is a void zombie and that it has a weakness to salt water. Huh. Quick, use your tears from the triple knot once. <laughs> <laughs> I coat my blade in, in the tears of saltiness. And summon thy tears. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Man. 
yeah, okay. I have a weakness to salt water. Yeah, um, I will. I don't know how much that matters, but I will pass that knowledge around. Um, and I will sit here Bye. looking like a fool while I'm rummaging my pouch. Just here, <laughs> bottle them quick and throw it at them. Yeah. <laughs> Pull your um, but that is my turn. All right. That's going to be another Zombo as he comes around the corner. Uh, he's just, he is just shuffling, dude, till the, till the end of his movement. He's going to avoid the big rocks, <laughs> mind, mind the big rocks. Um, and he's going to get to there. These things are not smart. And it is Alistair's turn. All right. Every day, sees what he sees, and uh, he's just going to hurl a beam of divine energy. Fight him! Zap. Minimum damage. It is good to hit, though, if that makes a difference. Oddly enough, it doesn't. Uh, They're from the void. Are they evil, though? Is the question. Is it only the good damage only deals damage to evil creatures? Uh, they are. So, in this case, yep, it'll deal some hey, damage. My spell's not useless. <laughs> uh, but that is all of my actions. So that is my turn. Well, we can't get it in two. Am I evil? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh. Uh, this will provoke attack of opportunity for Kanos. Oh. Oh. Kanos, you good? Yeah, for a minute there, I couldn't hear anything you guys were saying. I was wondering. Oh. Don't worry, we'll make it fun. Uh, well, you got a attack of opportunity on deck. Uh, oh, as uh, this, which this one? void, uh, this one, right, yeah, right okay. there. Um, the one that's think? under the overhang, it looks like. Yeah, he is trying to shuffle on by. Uh... Oh, bye bye. Oh, shit. Oh, big bye -bye. slaps. That somebody can do something. <laughs> um, and that is going to do. <laughs> that is going to do a lot. Yep. Um,. As you like just, guys, they're not getting past me. As you just completely <laughs> demolish Mr. Zombie, uh, putting him down hard. Uh, is that an overhang there? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's because I can't see that. the zombie. I just see his health bar. I can't actually see. Yeah, I was so. like, God damn! But like, did you fucking slam him into the wall? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. This this uh, space right here is a is an overhang. Okay, some, uh, that makes sense. Guacamole, you know what I mean? Um, if you get underneath it, it'll go away and you'll be able to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, well, that's very clearly the end of that guy's turn. Um, <laughs> and we are around to this one, uh, who is going to take an attack at Kanos. Zombie stuff, you know how we do. Um... As he attacks you with his fist. Whoa. Uh, he's going to get a hold of you. And I will do Ooh. this. <laughs> All right. It must choose to either that, do no damage or. Is that zombie within 15 feet of you? Oh, wait, is it? Oh, it's not. Never mind. Can't do that. Omega. 
Never mind. Can't get it. Never mind. Um, I tried. And so yeah, <laughs> you did indeed try. But Kanos is going to take the eight damage, um, and then this thing is going to go for Map because zombies are, you know, zombies. Uh, he's going to miss. He's going to go ahead and go for triple Map and miss again. And there, this is a tendril coming out of his like jaw space, trying to trying to get a hold of you here. My word. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty pretty gross. He's, yeah, he's, trying to, he's trying to give you a tentacle kiss, bro. It is, <laughs> it is Romastraz's turn. Come here, Granny just wants a kiss. Romastraz is gonna move up to there, and then he's gonna. Electric arc on uh, that one that just uh, tongued out at Kanos and the one right directly to the right of him. Then get those reflex saves. Okay, mm -hmm. now half and full. Maximum damage, too. Holy shit. That is uh, Bromastraza's turn. Uh, after getting hit uh, from this one in front of him, uh, Kanos is going to rage. And then uh, attack. And that is going to be, I mean, that's just going to put him down. And then, um, that's just out of my reach. So, uh, he's just going to stomp over the one that he just killed and then get behind the other one all right and end this is turn and then it's Dale's turn or Delith's turn okay what do you mean it's all right take my step I'm gonna do a little bit of a a trippy trip. That Pokemon battle music, hell yeah. He is indeed knocked prone. And you know, I'm gonna take the map. Alright. No, no, I did not mean to have that. Uh... No, no. Uh, power attack dice on there? Yeah, I did not mean to do that. Uh, it only rolled a one anyway, so. Yeah. Um, and that is slashing, so. Uh, and he's looking messed up. This stuff just trips him and gives him poke. Yeah, I'm not sorry. I'm not suffering. <laughs> now I have a chance to redeem myself. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to exploit vulnerability. Oh, you need to check yeah. for me. Yep. Yeah. I'm sitting here like, well, what are you waiting on, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Standard DC dev um, rec recall knowledge. Uh... Here it comes on the natural one. Oh my god, <laughs> my if, if if you did, please don't assign that one. It's okay. Thanks it for was not a nat one, but it was still a failure. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Are you serious? That's okay. When, when I go back and get that clip, Rag, I'm gonna get this clip no. from you saying Rag, that. I will reveal it. <laughs> And so he did. He you failed are... the death. So he, he gets the dubious. I do get dubious knowledge for that. Um, dubious. So actually, no, because that's not a recall knowledge. No, it's not a recall knowledge right check, on. though. Right yeah. On, right, right, right. Yeah. Um, what fuck. happens when you fail to exploit a weakness? <laughs> uh, nothing, actually. His knees just, I just get nothing. <laughs> yeah, his knees quiver. His he realizes quiver. that I don't know as um, much as I think I know. God damn it. <laughs> Uh, your knees quiver as you fail to ask what its weak. weakness. My Me first time out beyond the wall, I was so excited, and uh, I just can't pull it together, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, shit. I know what it is. Stop looking at uh, me. All right, I'm, I'm pissed at this point, so I'm going to attempt to demoralize this zombie. Um, so it's face down in the dirt. Nice plan. Yeah. Uh, and this is, yeah. Oh my God! Oh there my it is. On that one. That it is again. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my I, took goodness, a, I took a drink right as you rolled that. I almost spit coffee all this, over my keyboard. <laughs> this is pure gold right here. As uh. The, the zombie on the ground is in no way f frightened by you at all and just lays there on its back bleeding and going <laughs> at you that's when Daigle starts thinking so uh, right in there. he fucked up is is that your I, turn I have one more action but I don't even fucking know what I want to do, do with it do it Here's um tickle the booty Fuck it, I'm gonna do it again. I'm just as fuck, Jesus. Coming in for another night. I, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's, let's see if we can get five in one night. Let's do it. Go Be for the it. master of your destiny. Roll that at one. Uh, I need a need a recall. Well, I can just oh. use the old one. I can just use the old yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, you can use the old same one. DC. Hey, hey. you you <laughs> succeeded on that one. Oh my god. What is uh, their highest? Was this list? an actual recall knowledge or was this as no, a this... that, that was esoteric. That was exploit vulnerability. So I get uh, oh. their highest weakness. Uh, their highest weakness is salt water at five. Damn. Two <laughs> years bottle them, my dude. Yeah, you should have plenty with the number hey. of ones that you have rolled tonight. It, <laughs> the only benefit now is that I, I get um, the damage. Bonus I get the, or, yeah, I, I get, yeah. I get the uh, mortal weakness damage. Granted, um, when my turn comes up, it'll probably be dead. <laughs> yeah. So unless I roll worse than you do, that is that is my turn though. What are we at five now? <laughs> yeah. That's that's four critical failures tonight, bro. Yeah, four critical um, failures, and then and then a regular ones. failure. All right. Well, this thing is gonna get up. Um. Yeah. <laughs> triggering. <laughs> No, triggering from Kanos and Delith. Who we'll have this guy flying? Wonder who can, Twin who can get him first? Oh. <laughs> Kanos gets him wah, first. Wah, wah. Oh, oh, another oh, one. Jesus. And Delith <laughs> critically fails. Uh, Kanos I did with the, roll a one. <laughs> Kanos with the minimum damage, but still enough to take him down. And. We will get a music change for the players. This just in. Ginger rolling multiple nat ones in one night. More at 10. We will end the encounter. And we are all Jesus Christ, dude. Nice. He can't save you right now. The dice hate you. Yeah, we'll go in your, in your dice settings and change them up. Looks like you got a do the virtual He's a little bit dicey dice right now for you, dude. <laughs> I just need to change to buy my usual fucking um uh my usual dice configuration. Do that. Uh, and, um, 
how do I do my events? I think I may have to do that for you. Uh, um, are they, no, in, just... are they in the secret thing? Because it might be in there. No, 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 no. Oh. They're, they're like actual tokens. I think I have to do it. Um, but for now, we can leave them so you guys can see. Yeah, I mean, I think it's definitely anyway. Um. Oh, there's this thing. There's no so they do not. Yeah. I'm going to inspect these um, undead. Um. I think I can roll to understand what we're uh, going up against. Um, you can give me the first one of those. You have not ever seen anything like this. I'm just letting you guys know, I do not know anything, and it's the first time I've seen these creepy bastards. Uh, could I roll the first or second one of those? Uh, you roll the first one? If you want to attempt it again, you roll the second one. I would like to uh, attempt to recall knowledge um, with esoteric lore as well. And I'm uh, gonna... Kano, same thing. You've not ever seen anything like this. And or uh, yeah, oh, and then um, for uh, that one's for Daigle. I would like to use clean lore to try and tap into some divine knowledge to get some info on these guys. Okay. Um. Burp, burp, burp. I don't know why Kanos is the one telling you what that DC is, but... And it should have been hidden, but... Eh, you know. That's okay. <laughs> it's all good. It rolls mine didn't, though. <laughs> um, yeah, it rolls yours didn't, so... We're good there. Um, no, none of you have seen anything like this, and your... Uh, actually, your check uh, does reveal some stuffs. Um... And if mine was not a critical, if, if I was a failure, not a critical failure, I do get dubious knowledge. But you think that they are resistant to cold, and you think that they are weak to uh, fire. And uh, Rome Strauss has some fire, if I'm not mistaken. So that's good to know. Was All that right. the information uh, that I got, or was that the yeah, information that was that... what you got? Okay. Yeah. Because I'm like, if that's what if that's what uh, they got, have, I'm, I'm not, not so sure again. about that one, Chief. But yeah. <laughs> but it's me. I crit failed again. <laughs> If you did, I would laugh my ass off. Yeah, dude. Even if it wasn't that one, I still like. You did. Yeah, you did. I did. You did. Uh, well, let's. We need to find Molly. Um, it wasn't a one, but it was a two. <laughs> <laughs> Just one step above. Got it. Which, which a two is exactly a crit fail by. Um, Mm -hmm. If that yeah, um, yeah, was exactly DC is correct. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So I mean, right. you saw my DC. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, um, uh, I got licked by that just creature's tongue. Uh, anybody yeah. able to mend it at all? Do I have a uh, medicine proficiency? <laughs> I have proficiency in medicine, but it's not great. And the way I've been rolling tonight, I don't think you want me uh, doing <laughs> doing a first aid on you. <laughs> That's all right. Hold hold still, right. Kanos. It, it, it's oh. not risky surgery, right? It'll be fine. 
If I crit oh, fail, you take damage. That, uh, you heal six. Oh. Yeah, I gotcha. Thank you. Oh, nice. well. Oh, oops. Yep. Oh. Do, um, do the tracks that we've found so far lead uh, into these doors? Uh, yes. Yes. Um, okay. However, there are... Uh, give me a survival trick. Secret. Okay. Secret. I would also like to listen at the door. Okay. Uh, is this a visual survival check? Yes. There's there's my listening at the door. Um. You hear something, but it sounds like it's not in the immediate room. It sounds like like it's way way far off, but you can hear something. Um, Daigle, you can see it looks like, um, it looks like Molly didn't go in. Uh, and it looks like she, she continued off, uh, this direction, but it looks like there were four sets of other tracks that lead in here but only two go out. Hmm. Um, first priority is to find the one that we know is somewhat okay still, so I think we follow Molly's tracks first. I'd have to agree. Something is moving within beyond these doors, but it is deeper in the structure. Yes. So we leave it alone for now and uh, recover the girl first. Uh, so yeah, we're going to follow Molly's tracks. And I'm going to make her my hunted prey again. Um, okay. Do they lead around the side here or are we just... Um, no, she goes, They her tracks go away from this structure completely. Oh, really? Yeah, she did not go inside this, and following her tracks um, would be going back out onto the regional map. Yeah, we're going to do that, because, because okay. uh, we need to recover her first. All right. To to the uh, regional map we go. Yeah, we're uh, pushing into the night. Like, this is this is dangerous. Yeah, All right. but it'll be worse for her. So yeah, we we uh, have lots of light. She maybe has a torch. <laughs> All right. Um, are you guys telling? Are you guys going back to tell Gil, or are you just pushing out ahead? Um, if it's a mile. Um, and this is like open area, right? We could we could probably see our light from quite a ways off. Yeah, you can see. Kano. Um, I would say, uh, Kanos, um, would you would you mind running back to uh, to let Gil know that we are headed off in another direction? Already planning on it. I'll Thank catch you. up with you guys. Thank you. Um, and yeah, so Do we'll be careful. That way. Yes. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, um, uh, so Kanos is gonna go let Gil know. We start slogging off in one direction and he'll catch us up. Um, I, know, I know Kanos is like twice as fast as the rest of us. <laughs> he'll catch us up in and no then, time. He's uh, been bored this whole time because you guys are just so fucking slow. <laughs> so it's he's, almost like he's twice he's as fast because he has twice as many legs. <laughs> to get a sprint. <laughs> Warm up a little in the cold. Yeah. Um. All right. Um. So, uh, everyone, hit me with a, a perception. We get your bonus on this. Everybody does the can.
I was thrown off by the fact that my character token is not on the map, and I'm like, uh. Um, so. <laughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. Um, uh, I gotta. Refresh the stream. Refresh the stream screen. Um, it just went out on me again. Does that every once in a while. Probably just timing out. It's, yeah. It's like probably like once an hour or something. Yeah, uh, we're back. Um, okay. So, first, we're going to begin here with a tale of epic redemption. As Bagel <laughs> picks him up a critical success. Um, the duality of man. The duality of man. Um, as uh, you, as you're pushing ahead, um, you notice something is following you in the darkness uh Kanos you as you are like you know and I imagine you're going at a pretty good clip uh you see something um up ahead like in the distance and as you get close you are like what in the world um this is on my way back to this is on your way from... back okay. uh getting closer you see um you see and and she she's off to the side oh shit Oh my god! Yeah, so this was back behind us somewhere. I'm guessing. And right? I can, I can, I, I can tell like she's not herself right now, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> um. Um, and give me a, give me a society check, secret, if you would. Oh, great. Fucking awesome. <clears throat> so, you distinctly remember this little girl has uh, has trouble saying her R's. She has rhoticism issues. Um, just a fun fact. Um, but as you are walking up, she says, Kanos, come here. Uh, so I immediately like kind of come to a stop to assess the situation. Um, as you know, for the last six as four years at least i've been like trying to look into undead things is there any way i can you know kind of think back to things that i've learned about how to deal with them or should they be killed burn you know whatever um yeah you mean undead lore or religion And and then as you're stopping to sort of take stock with your uh, um, and, and figure out, you know, make an assessment, uh, she bolts fast, um, like supernaturally fast. 
um, back towards the wall. I immediately sprint towards her. Um, okay. Uh, give me... Give me an athletics check. Um, in addition, for the rest of you, uh, you uh, see Kanos's light, because I imagine you're stopping to check every so often. You notice he has veered off towards the wall. What about the thing that's following us? Um, the thing that is following you is still following the group of you. Okay. Um, shit. Um, and now in you have really good vision in the dark, so, um, unlike everyone else, like sort of out past their lanterns, they are, they don't have too good a vision. You can see that what is following you is a wolf. Huh. Okay. Does does it appear like? Is it trying to not be seen, or like what is its like attitude? Um, do you need it, like a uh, sense it, motive I or mean, something? Yeah. <laughs> Secret <laughs> perception. This is beyond the lantern, so. Do, well, He's... so from my religion lore, did I get anything? Basically, I want to know if there's um, any way this thing is reversible or not or if I just need to kill her uh you don't think that this is not her this is something impersonating her <laughs> okay well then I, I sudden charge and try to take its head off um so okay at the speed that it's moving with your athletics you're able to keep pace but you can't catch it and you are in fact losing ground slowly but because of the open terrain uh, until it gets to the wall you can follow basically at the point that it gets to the wall it'll you know it'll there will be some you might have to stop and track it because you're not going to know which direction it went right you know, like once you lose sight of it basically yeah once you lose sight of it but until then I have, I have dark vision though I don't I can see well, no, yeah, no, I, just, you know, I mean, once like, it once goes it hits inside the wall, the wall it can cut see in it. one direction down mm -hmm. the wall, and you couldn't tell which it was until you got in there. But you can see for like, there's, you know, there's no trees, there's no cover out here in the sort of tundra, and so you can just see out. And like I said, this thing is putting space in between you. Uh, you know, by the time that you get to the wall, you're going to be hundreds of feet from it. And it's gonna break inside, and you're gonna be, and it's there's cover in there with trees and everything else. So, um, you you know a hundred percent this thing, you know, like it's it's you you can't you can't catch it, but you can follow it to the best of your ability. Basically, is what I'm getting at. Okay, I guess I do that then. All right, um. The what is the rest of the party doing? You're aware you're being followed by this wolf. The wolf doesn't seem it seems more curious like than okay. anything else. Um Um I'm gonna first off stop the party. Um say hold up a second, guys. Um it, it's, it seems we are being followed, and uh, Kinos has taken a detour. Um, he seems to be chasing something, something very fast. Um, and like, but I'm gonna like, I'm gonna say, don't make any sudden moves. Uh, and I'm gonna like point over into the dark where the wolf is. I'm saying, uh, uh, there's a wolf that's been following us for a little while now. Um, I'm going to like turn back and like try to like non-threateningly approach the wolf and just see what it does. It it backs away 
and uh, breaks in this direction. Breaks north. Okay. Leave it oh. be. We must. Yeah. yeah, we have to follow Kanos. Now, yeah, are we? Please. Are we still on her on her trail though? Or yeah. oh yeah, that's following no, Kanos on. leaves her trail. All right. So no, I, but I mean like like the way we, we were, were still going, on her trail though is still um, on her trail. So yeah, her trail leads off this way, but you guys have seen Kanos break towards the wall at a breakneck pace. Right. We're not going to be able to catch him, regardless yeah. of what we you're, do. You're not going to be able to catch no. him, but something is very close. clearly like yeah. wrong. Right. So, um, do we do we split again? And have yeah. two people follow Kanos and Whoever two people are the, who are the, who are our fastest, our next two fastest. Um. Well, I think I should follow Molly because uh, I'm probably our best tracker. Yeah. I um. I'll go follow our centaur friend, I guess. I'm pretty sure everyone else in the party has the base 25 movement. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter who goes. I think we should just send a balanced group. So, um, uh, Delith and, uh, Romastras, if you two would, uh, would follow after Kanos and see if, if you, if you might need some help. And, uh, Alistair, if you would come with me, we should, uh, track down Molly. Alistair nods in agreement and, uh, continues on the path. I'm a Strauss. We'll just right. look over at Delith and, well, looks like we, got, we have to follow our friend over there. Um, okay. So you guys head after Kanos. Uh, Daigle and Alistair keep following, uh, Molly's trail. Um, so we're going to, we're going to follow, uh, Daigle and Alistair first. Um, I also Daigle imagine and... that Romastras and, uh, Delith are like hustling to try and catch up um, to Kanos. At least as much as possible. Uh, yeah. Um, so, wait, say that one more time. That uh, Delith and uh, Roma Straws are hustling. Yeah. There, there's an actual action for that. Yeah, yeah, full hustle action. Yep. Yeah. Um, Try and get there as soon as possible. Um, whereas Kanos is in a full out sprint. Um, yeah. So. Uh, Alistair and Daigle, um, as you, it's probably about, mm, about an hour of following the trail, uh, you come to a, uh, little depression in the land, um, and, um, there you, uh, Daigle, you can see her a mile off, um, you see Molly uh, up, like back up against a big rock, and she has a uh, a carved like wooden spear, and she is looking into the darkness, sort of in all directions. Um, and as soon as she sees the lantern light, she goes. You see her go around behind the rock, and you can just see her little head poking up with her spear. Okay. And she's um, just watching the light approach. I'm I'm gonna call out before we get to her. Um Molly, no need to hide. It's it's us. It's Daigle and Alistair. We've come to retrieve you. Um and I'm I'm, I'm while I'm doing that, I'm looking around because like she obviously is is worried about something. Pro prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Uh um, is there something I would like something I know about her that um, oh, uh, um, Molly, your your mother Lena is very worried about you. She knows you came to, came after your father. We've only come oh. to make sure you don't get hurt. Okay. 
I, be- I believe you. And she comes out with her little spear in hand, but she's still, like, looking in all directions. I am also, like, looking in all directions as well to make sure there's, like, cause she's obviously, like, worried about something. So, um, but I'm going to pick up the pace with Alistair, and, uh, but I'm also keeping watch. Um, she, you know, you guys meet her, and she, like, looks you over, very, and she is, like, as she is, you know, looking you over, she's very discerning, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, activate my, my racial thing, and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna make myself glow softly, uh, aside from my lantern, just so, like, I mean, to, to further prove it. She, cause she knows, like, I'm a fetchling that yeah. can glow. And so. Alistair just is light right now because <laughs> just, I'm always there was, <laughs> there, there was a man. He tried to take me. He looked like my dad, but he was my dad. Uh, that's that's very concerning. Uh, we were also looking for your uh, for your dad as well. Did you track them to that building back there? Yeah, but when the man came, I didn't twist him, and I tried to stab him, but I couldn't get him, so I ran. Well, that's that was very brave of you and very smart. Um, now let's let's see about getting you back to somewhere safe. Um, we left Neil and his uh, his wagon and donkey uh, back near the building. Can you, uh, can you walk? Yeah, I walk. Okay. And she comes along, but she, she keeps her little wooden spear and she keeps looking around. All right. Uh, that, you know, it really unnerved her quite a bit. I'm going to actually, like, um, I'm going to reach out with my free hand and I'm going to, like, grab her, her hand. Uh, um, in, like, she, a comforting she, fashion. No, she, like, pulls She's not away. Like both hands, she's got both hands on her spear. She's not trying to have any of that. Okay. Like, all right. Well, I'll let her be. I'll let her be. Uh, um. But uh, yeah. Alistair kind of takes up a position um, where uh, Molly is between him and. Uh... Oh my god, I forgot your name, Daigle. <laughs> Daigle. <laughs> <laughs> where she's kind of between the two of them. Um, and, uh, he's just kind of semi-defensive posture, like, hand resting near his sword, ready to, ready for action kind of thing, keeping a head on a swivel. And, uh, you guys make your way back. Um, we will go to, uh, Delith and Romastraws next. Um, Delith and Romastraws. Uh, as you guys are sort of hustling, trying to catch uh, Kanos, uh, both of you give me secret perception checks. Oh boy! Oh boy, indeed. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Uh, you notice a lone shadow in the corner of your vision tilts its head to one side slightly and continues to observe you despite being noticed. I read the second part too. Uh, yeah. yeah. You... Um, I know shadows though. Um, you know what this is. You know this is bad. Alright. Oh, also, I'm intimidation. Okay. I also just haven't, uh, I have. Oh, um, just intimidating Blair, just in case he doesn't understand language. So. 
Uh, unfortunately, um, oof. I don't want to hear that. Fuck. Oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. uh, unfortunately. Oh no. A few more, as he sort of steps in, a few more materialize a few hundred feet off. Uh, a couple of shadows are watching you from a few hundred feet off in the darkness. The only reason you notice them is their eerie glowing eyes. While the number of shadows remains low, you may attempt an intimidation check. <laughs> attempt to try and scare them off. Is this like a stacking thing? Like we can keep trying this int intimidation check? Yeah, but I feel like if you don't do well enough, more of them will show up. <laughs> yeah, if you if you fail too much, it could cause problems. Oof. <laughs> I wonder if I... Mm, can I reroll my original one? I mean, this would be a fresh point. check. Yeah, this would be a fresh... Rush check. No, no time to dawdle. Huh? Don't want to be uh, moving around with these things. All right, and you guys continue, you know, continue on your way. Uh, despite the shadows sort of lurking a couple hundred feet off, it just kind of seemed a little bit curious about you. Um. And we will go to Kanos. Uh, Kanos, um, give me as you, as you're as, by the time that you reach the wall. Give me uh, another athletics check. Um, you have sort of put the pedal to the metal, and you have closed to within 50 feet of this thing by the time you hit the wall. Uh, give me a perception check, a uh, secret perception if you would, to see uh, sort of what direction this thing breaks when it gets inside the wall. Um, you think that it went uh, this way. Like it went around to the, what would be to your right um, coming in the wall. Like it's heading towards the village. So, so it, it, it made itself, it, it made its way over the wall or through it the went wall, through the, so it went through the crack. The crack. Okay. So I follow where I believe it went um as i run past the guards the, I so there's only one guard there you can see as you come through the the crack in the wall you can see that there's uh a torch out ahead of you running um after something uh well yeah i guess he he can't he can't leave his post he's got a, he, since the other guy took off so yeah, I just, I keep going uh, the direction that I believe it's at and try to go as fast as I can. Um, you... And anyone, just... anyone that I see as I run, I say, I just say, like, stay away from Molly, just as, as I'm going, just, um, that's all I can get out. As, as you, by. as you pass the, um... As you pass the, um, the guard, um, he, uh, he says, it, it wasn't Molly. It was some sort of wolf thing. Um, you, you reach the small stand of trees that it looks like this thing headed into. Uh, at the edge of the trees, give me a perception check. Uh, 
Uh, you see... This thing... Uh, disappearing into the brush. Um, we're, we're in the enclosure, so I'm not going to stop till I can get a hold of it. Um, so at this point I need a, like, it is, it's heading it, like, it's heading straight into the woods here. Uh, in order to follow it out, you're going to have to track it. Okay, so survival. Sorry, uh, someone in chat, Matt says, staying away from Molly is just good life advice. <laughs> <laughs> true, true facts. <sighs> um, so unfortunately, you, you are unable to pick up the trail, and, um, after... The better part of an hour, uh, Roma Straws and um, Delith. and Delith, yeah, I, my mind just went blank. Um, Roma Straws and Delith um, sort of catch up to you, and they have been able to confer with the guards and tell them, you know, what's going on. Um, but the three of you rendezvous. Um, additionally, the you guys notice that the shadows do not follow you inside the wall. I'm saying okay, the shadows what, up there. What was that? I have no idea. I, it was Molly, and then it was a wolf, and then it was gone. Like there was also no matter how fast I am, I couldn't keep up with it. At least you seem to have chased it into the woods. Doesn't seem like it would be That's out still within our gates. And we have no idea where it is. There are more gods here than just us. Or what it wants. Hmm. Can uh, now that now that we're here, can we also try the survival track to drag it? Yeah. No survival. Uh secret or uh, yes, please. Um, with the... All you needed was a little bit of help from your friends, buddy. Um, as they show up, the three of you are able to pick up the trail. Uh, but it loops around. And f you follow it into the village where you notice that the footprints gradually go to two footprints and then become human and walk into the village where you lose them sort of amongst the you know tra general traffic footprints of the village is this our village yeah yeah your village um you know what I don't know, this might not do too much for us, but uh, I'm going to detect some magic as we walk through the village. And I'm, I'm going to do some uh, aura reading. Wow, it's also just pitch black. Um, I think you... Yeah, I was, about to just, I was about to just cast light too. But we don't need to do um, I, am, I, am I picking anything up? Um, you are not. Uh, the, the tracks came in here. That's where they sort of became human. And then you were able to follow them till about right here. Um, 
and then you you sort of lose them. All right, yeah, I'm just gonna walk around with te with detect magic, like going by every building, like. Um. I'll also uh like knock on the door of the village chief. Do I notice anything different about the two in here? Um, no. And in fact, they are the the kid is curled up in sort of like a sleeping bag situation and the dude is as you peek in the door um he's passed out um do i get an answer from the village chief's house uh that's not the chief's house that's, oh, that's lena's house. house yeah that's um, okay. yeah yeah that's from uh, um notice anything about that lady uh, excuse me. There's a monster in the village. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh well, it you're didn't run in English. here. You're, you're speaking just fine, so I need to continue going. But uh, keep an eye out. Watch yourself. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, the, um, Chieftain and her mom are both asleep. Um, and after a few minutes, uh, the chieftain, uh, does answer. Ella, it is serious. There uh, seems to be some sort of shapeshifter here. We, we've tracked it all the way from the wall. Dago and Alice, they are still out looking for Molly. Oh, um... Give me a minute. Uh, let me get my armor and my sword, and I'll be I'll I'll be out. All right. I will continue so to just, uh, survey the village. Just like so, everyone's aware. Like this is the first time Kinos has left the fucking enclosure, and he has allowed in his mind uh, a creature to come into his tribe. He is panicking. He is fastly running through every building, looking for someone or looking for this thing so like he's just pounding house you know, so what what did uh, this creature look like could you like describe how it acted maybe can find a way to see through its veil its disguise it it looked like a zombie when it was molly and then it was some kind of wolf when it wasn't her, and that's all I saw. Is my detect magic, like, pinging at all yet? No, it pings at... at Urel's, but you know that that's... his arm always pings magical. Um, so that's not out of place. Um... Uh, the wagon isn't actually there at the moment. It's out. i get rid of that. Do I not notice anything with um, Olin? Uh, no, Olin is uh, passed out in the little bed right here, uh, and, and you know it's like he's snoring away, He's and you know that he a lot of times will crash at Alistair's instead of with his sort of adopted big sister. Uh, this is your house, Romus yeah. Russ, so... Anything weird going on in here? Mm -mm. No. Alright. Um... Yeah, check the tents. Uh, you know that that is uh, Daigle's tent. Okay. Um, uh, going to the ruins. Um, the ruins seem to be intact. Um, but over here, sort of where you're at, where Kano's just was, you have a perception check. Um, you notice these tracks are very old, and, uh, Delith, you happen to just sort of notice them. Uh, there is another set of tracks that comes into the village. They're considerably older, but they do the same thing, 
where they start out as animal tracks and then gradually become person tracks. Um, and they are coming in from here and heading this, uh, this direction. Relay that to the group. Yeah. Any, any pings on, on this house with you? You do get some pings on this house. You know that it is not uncommon. Um, however, when you open the door here, um, you are greeted by this gentleman. Uh, you know that he is the, uh, sort of shaman of the village here. Um, Kanos, give me a secret perception check. You immediately notice that his head, the antlers on his headdress and a lot of his clothing really resemble that thing you were just chasing. I uh, immediately come in and put my sword, like, aim my sword at him. And uh, tell him, why, why don't you tell me what that wolf thing I saw earlier today was, or what I'm chasing was. I haven't the foggiest idea what you're talking about. Um... I uh, I want to uh, intimidate. Uh, I'm gonna roll intimidation um, to try to get him to understand that I'm very Co very serious. Yeah, I think right you just now. coerce. It's not an action coerce. Mm -hmm. I mean, but you can also just roll intimidation against him. Yeah. You're big, I'll grant you that, but you don't scare me, boy. Mm. Eh, fuck it, I'll, I'll also give it a try. I'm gonna see if, you know, instead of wrong intimidation, I'm gonna have wrong, wrong a sense of motive. Is this guy trying to hide something from us? Uh, definitely, he's definitely trying to hide something from you. Does my, uh, does my intimidation do anything? Um, no, it does not. It is also ineffective. Alright. I may be a new around here, but what is it you're hiding? It's obviously something. I, uh, I don't know what a talking statue, what authority a talking statue has over me. My business is my business. Huh. 
and the 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 weird like the you know what we've seen your tracks friend they match the tracks before how long are we going to play this game isn't this one of your guys's village members or is this an imposter yeah he, he well well uh well i mean we're not in the the spot to say it but if you he, he's not acting anywhere like the other one was I'm new here, so I'm just... If you are not the one we're looking for, you are certainly of the same kind. If you are truly of this village, then... I should let you know that if it's not you, another one of your kind has gotten in. And if so, the village is in danger. So... Are you going to tell us what we want to know? Or not? Like I said, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just gonna press this, like spray him down with water. <laughs> like as soon as he, as soon as he like what, what? He gets the spray bottle. Yeah, liter like literally, just I, I mean, it's cold. It's cold outside. I'm gonna just keep. I'm gonna get out. I was like, I don't give a fuck. We. We don't have time for these games. The next spell will be a, will be a little bit more dangerous. Now tell us what you know. I ain't telling you nothing. And uh, we're gonna go on initiative. Yeah. Well, okay, I was gonna say. Yeah. Um. This guy changes shape in front of you. Um, suddenly becoming this form. Uh, for his second action, he's going through that window. Um, so that's going to provoke an attack of opportunity from Kanos. I'm going to take it. Wow. Um, and then he's through the window. Uh, he crashes through. He's going to take some additional damage from the small window. And then one, two, and he is full running, and you can see him transforming more and more as he goes. Um, uh oh, I'm taking his turn. I haven't even begun the encounter yet. <laughs> it's a uh, Della's turn. All right. Yeah. Free action time. Did he just use four actions? 
Did he, did he use four actions? No, he just ran through the window and took damage from it. He just crashed through it. Mitsa, we're, we're good. Pulling a Kool-Aid, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Three rounds. Ooh, with the big boy. Um, oh, why? He's inspired. not inspired. He's not. Why is he? He's not not why. Um, fired off him. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, we'll just have to take it off on the wrist turn. That's fine. I'll just yeah. And now I'm I'm going to be going for the uh, the El Clasico. I'm going to trip. Oh, that's why. Huh. Yeah, you're going to have to toggle that again, because it. when I tried to take it off of him, it took it off of you, too. That's weird. There we go. No. No, no. No, no. Oh, oh no. I see hero points for the netty one. Mm. Nice. Uh, Oops. Mm. Delicious. Is there not an achievement for that? And uh, you there lose is, your there balance. And you are prone. It is Kanos' turn. Statue man slipped on a patch of ice and just bailed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to this, okay? I, I literally just woke up today. Leave me be. Look up the. <laughs> uh, yeah, you. I was like, you don't have to squeeze. You can just through the door. Oh yeah. Fucking vault over the rock there. Um. I'm going to. Uh, rage and then strike hmm. and that's my turn all right Roma straw is kind of sees what's going on and uh he's gonna cast Days. I've fallen and I can't get up. I can get that. Oh, oh there she goes. Oh, that's. Oof. Yeah, so nothing happens, and the Roma Strauss will, uh. Damn. Charles will run up, kind of get, get up in his grill, and that'll be my turn. Um, this gentleman. Oh, thank you for toggling that. Um, I gotta look at. Um, he is moving to here. That's going to provoke from all three of you. You know, I'm going to swing while prone. Um, yeah, no, you're not for you then. <laughs> I want to swing while I'm prone. I mean, you can swing while you're prone. You I take a penalty. Yeah, you stick okay, yo, fuck yeah, I will. Um, but Kanos is going to get a hold of him. We're going for it. Oof. Missed because of the prone. Damn. Damn. Got him. Um, Romus Ross doesn't have I attack do opportunity. Okay. Yeah. Um, by the time he gets to right here, um, he is full on shifted into wolf form and is. Oop, that's not the right thing. Um, uh, 
He books it. Uh, Della's turn. Time to stand up. Oh boy. You're up. Which one? That would be my turn. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. Well. And it's Kanos' turn. I'm going to stride once. And then, uh, sudden charge. Oh, he's going in. Oh, <laughs> you can get there too. Ooh. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hero point there. Oh shit, one second before you do that. Um, oh, really? Well, you're good. Because um, I forgot to do a thing to him. Uh, and that may actually, yeah, that second one hits him. Okay. Nice. Yeah, he's really going for it. Oh, damn. He's eating ass and going faster. Dude, he is. My turn. That is Ramastraz's turn. Alright, Ramastraz. This is, uh. You know what? We got a uh, hundred and twenty feet. About there. Okay. Corner of that house. We're gonna illuminate the area again. Ooh. That's, That's right. my boy. Oh. That's not what I want. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, I think it's right there. Oh, look at that. Yeah, wow, well, bullseye right next to him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and yeah, I'll think I'll just uh, and then 120, and then I'll, I'll put an eh, that's one, that's fine. No. Okay, uh, and that's my turn. All right, um, Cast an SV spell of the occult tradition. Yeah. Um, Anybody occult casters? Yes. Oh. Uh, then you are aware that he just cast Goblin Pox. Um, and that is going to be on Kanos. Uh, it is a manipulate, so it does provoke an attack of opportunity. Hit him, my boy. Oof, nice. Ooh. Oh, and he's gonna get a hold of him. I need... <laughs> and... He's gonna go down. Uh, I think we are going to stay on initiative. 
Uh, but yeah, his spell does not go off. Um, we're also going to go off of the metal music. All right. Um, so, the turn, Delith's turn. Oh, I'm going to slow ass up there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if he's dying, um, this initiative goes right before Kano's. Yeah, you're right. Oh, what's what's which actually fun? puts him right where he's at. <laughs> um, that's why I'm right there. Right oh, um, um, yeah, it is Kano's turn. Uh, this this creature is on the ground, uh, in front of you. And it is, it slowly resumes the sort of half wolf person shape. Uh, this, this shape. Um, as it is, uh, you know, dying. Um, shit. Uh, I must have f forgot the fact that uh, I had an adventurous pack and I didn't put it on my inventory. Uh, so I would want to like rope them up first, but I don't have any rope. So I'm just going to. I'm just going to. Like stand guard up over it and see what the others want to do. Okay. Okay. You could. So you're oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm raged right now, so I have to strike him, right? No, that's only in that's only five e. Five e. Okay. Yeah. okay. Actually, then, yeah. your rage your rage goes off now that he's down because he's yeah, yeah now that he's okay, down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But so, um, you you could grab him and he would auto yeah. fail because he's unconscious. So he'd be restrained. Like you can yeah, just essentially yeah, restrain I'll, I'll his unconscious form. I will grab him. All right. Um, I mean, you you get him. Uh, go ahead and roll it against him. Target him and kill it against him. Uh, just to see what it is, but he, yes, it's just a normal success, but he is grab. And yeah, is that your turn? Uh, yep, that's, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, Roma Strauss. I am also going to do the slow boy walk. Uh... Wow, I'm really slow. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just kind of here. All right. Um, this guy is gonna make him a uh, little re recovery check. Um. Uh, and he is going to go to wounded and unconscious in Kanos' grasp, and we are going to go uh, off of initiative as he is no longer dying and is just uh, just unconscious. I'm going to go uh, get uh, Yeah, I was going to say, either uh, yeah. Take him to the seer, or bring the seer and the chief. Uh, the, she, uh, she is coming out. Um, to, to I, meet you guys. Um, I have some more cannons. Here you go. Joy. We found the uh, shapeshifter. Turns out it was our dear old shaman, Ayla. This is one of them. Yes, there could be another. 
and this one acted other than aggressive very normal hard to tell I don't, I don't know the um, gentleman and um, I can like take your word for it I, I, I'm just assuming the other one the one that I was chasing here I don't think it's that one uh, the one that I was chasing here seemed younger, maybe not fully in control of its forms. This guy definitely was. I can't take the dancing lights off. I, uh... oh, was that AFK? Time that was break. AFK on the the stream the stream Oops. sale. That was transmitting our voices. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, it didn't attack um, any of us. It just ran. It had more than opportunity to do that. But then again, I'm new here. Peace. He's not uh, that can be healed. The chieftain says, "Um." Take him to his house. We will keep him under guard and keep him bound and see what see if he wakes in the morning. Oh, I, we will have words. Uh, kind of out of question question to an in cancer in character uh, thing. If he's healed, he'll just wake up, right? Yes. Yeah, pretty much he'll have a long rest and then he'll wake up. I'll just, I'll just count his count him as an ally, so he'll just... Give him 1d4. Uh, yeah, what little one. Exactly! <laughs> huh? We could just ask him now. Why is he still marked as dead? Because he is dead to rights. Um... Uh, as he... As soon as he comes back to life, he immediately shifts back into this form. Do you like talking now, the shaman? You say that, I I squeeze him harder. If you hadn't gathered, I'm not your shaman. Oh, I've gathered. Or is there shaman? You don't want to know. I think they do. I ate him. The appetite you have. Uh, here goes the sun Simona. I wanna, I wanna know. He did in fact eat that man. Tell me. He, this thing. This, this nightmare creature fucking okay. <laughs> ate that guy. And what is your plan then? Come in here eating innocent people? I was gonna work my way through the village. How many more are there of you? your group it's just me so you were the one that I was chasing yeah you're fast as hell another son's motive yeah, I, I, I don't I don't I don't trust uh well those are critical success the success so um yeah no he's telling the truth all right Anos was chasing him Chieftain, it's up to you on what you want to do with this song. One more question. If, 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 if you're the one I was chasing, why did we see two different tracks and two different areas where the tracks changed from wolf to human? Because I don't always come in the village the same way, so I don't get caught. Well, uh, after revealing all this, I just, 
I just say, is there any reason to keep this thing alive? One more question, actually. What was going on beyond the wall? We heard from our friend that you were impersonating a young girl, which means you obviously must have seen her, if I am judging about how your powers work. Our uh, centaur yeah. friend here fr finds no reason to keep you alive, and so this question may be yeah. your only chance. She was smart. She got me with her spear. Wasn't worth it. What did you do to her father and the rest of the scouts? I didn't do nothing to them. And how did you appear as her father? Because I seen him around the village. There's also another wolf who one of my friends said that had a spark of intelligence that uh, it was keen on who we were. Are you sure there wasn't any others? No, there's no others. It's just me. We hunt alone. That could have just been like a regular wolf. Um, might as well. He shifts into this form and says, Let me go, Kanos. I let, snap his let, neck immediately. Let, let me. I snap his neck immediately. Um, whatever I gotta roll, athletics, whatever. Uh, I, I, that's what I have uh, to do. Unarmed attack. Unarmed declaring attack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, declaring lethal. He's only got one HP, man. <laughs> yeah. That's a right. severe disadvantage. Retardedly high, though. Uh, I don't know. So I do I just add the negative two? Yeah. Twist and a flick. Oh, well, <laughs> that was on him. You get a hold of him. Um, and with a crunch, uh, he goes back down and is going to go to uh, dying too. Um, no, you know, without hesitation, I'm just gonna do it. Oh, shit. Um, and yeah, you guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and just, you know, pop him to full on dying four. Oh, uh, yeah, you guys execute. What an execute. As you guys execute this. It's like a Mortal Kombat execution. Nightmare creature. Um, finish him. Um, no, it's not my place, Chief, but it's for, you know, that monster ate people. I will trust the discretion of a being created of the ancients. Uh, and with that, we will go back to our campsite, um, where I've got to... First and foremost, um, get some people on the map. I've been staring at a black screen for so long. Oh, sorry. sorry. I mean, so, I've been so, watching so the stream, so we're fine. Uh, <laughs> it's so yeah. dark. True. Um, <laughs> Open true your eyes. Um, <laughs> Open your breath. Oh boy, Gil. I want you to All right. So where do you guys want your camp? How do you want it set up? Here. Um... I mean, just kind of like on flat, open out, open ground. Yeah. Um, I mean, since everything here is flat and open ground, yeah. so I just say like, I'm kind of like in a circle as well, so that we can yeah. like. If there's like a main fire, like yeah, like have like the main fire somewhere in the middle, and then the camp, the tent somewhere around it. Maybe the wagon like beside one of the yeah, like kind of making yeah. a wall. Yeah. So we essentially uh, have like cover um, room and, stuff like that. and then where's she at where's my girl sunflower um yeah
and uh yeah you guys arrive actually scratch back that it's the, still dark as hell uh, uh, yeah you guys I, arrive. I am maintaining my glow <laughs> <laughs> right on <laughs> um you guys arrive uh back at the camp um and within uh within a short while of you know being back at the camp um Mm. A couple of shadows appear at the edge of camp. Um, can I do like a esoteric lore check? Um, see if I know like much more about them or like what attracts them. From this distance and with just two of them? Uh, that would be kind of difficult. Okay. I'm gonna try the. That was uh, character. I have opportunities for that as the shadows gather goes higher, and there are more uh, okay. of them that you can observe. So, okay. I'm gonna attempt the. Oh shit! That should have been secret. Oh hey, it auto did a secret. Yay! I'm gonna try and intimidate. Um, <clears throat> the as as Alistair, you know, goes out with his horns blaring with the you know light of the the gods um one of the shadows uh Fuck yeah. runs away <clears throat> that was true after like glaring out into the night just kind of like shrugs his shoulders like i thought so and then returns to camp <laughs> <laughs> Um, while uh, Alistair is over doing his thing, uh, Daigle's gonna, like, get comfortable around the fire, and, uh, gonna turn over to Molly and says, Um, uh, now, Molly, what, whatever possessed you to venture beyond the walls on your own like that? You have was, to have known that it was dangerous. I was trying to find my dad. <laughs> it's a, it's a commendable... Uh, mission you had, but um, you could have, you know, asked someone for help or um, the adults was taking too long. Well, yes, but um, the area beyond the walls is like there's there's no one knows what's out here. That's why you're. Look, that's why your father just came. Just because the here. adults is scaled, I'm going to look for my dad. They can sit in town and be scaled. <laughs> we were a very brave little girl. Um, let's, uh, let's hope that, uh, that your bravery doesn't end badly. But, um, but, uh, you must be tired at this point. Cause it's, it's like well after dark, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And she yeah, is visibly like, tired. Yeah. Uh, um, let's say we uh, let's say we get you bedded down for the night. Gil uh, Gil says, "By all means, go take the uh, take the wagon, and uh, I'll camp in the tent with one of these fellows. Uh, a woman should have her privacy, and it'll be safer in the wagon." And uh, I, I don't know why, but I want to sense motive on that. <laughs> um, no, I don't trust him. Uh, I mean, go for it. I don't trust him. I don't know why, but I don't trust him. Um, no, I mean, he's genuinely seems he seems legit, right? Seems like he's he's like that has wooden walls. These I suppose I trust him. It's safer. <laughs> um, you know, it is indeed safer for her in the wagon. Now, as she goes in the wagon. Uh, he looks at the two of you and says, this is no place for a young lady. We should, uh, we should take her back at once. Um, I don't know how long you can sustain that light, my friend, but if, if he has his lantern, I have a torch and, uh, you have the light of your horns, we can, we can make for the wall and get her into the safety of the enclosure. Um, 
Funny uh, you should say that. It is not so much a matter of maintaining the light as pressing it. Um. <laughs> uh, you, that is a sound suggestion. Um, but we're also out here to to seek the scouting state scouting team, and uh, we know that the four of them came to that building over there, and um, but I saw two sets of tracks coming out instead of and then four going in. So, at least two of them appear to still be inside that building. Probably the worst for wear. Very well. They may not, well, they may not have time for us to go back. We'll stay, but I think it may be a good idea if in the morning, when it's light, I uh, make for the wall with the girl. That was and get my, her my out thoughts here. exactly. Um, <sighs> So if we same. venture too far from this camp, how will our friends find us? This is true. This is very true. Um, and so the guys in back in town, right? Are you guys staying there for the rest of the night, or are you trying to get back out here to them? Or like, what is that? You know, what are you doing? It's about it's three o'clock in the morning I think right it's now. It's dangerous to go back out at such a late time, and also. You're running pretty fast and pretty hard. I think uh, I vote for sleep. Yeah, I, I get the feeling that virtually everybody in the party is is pushing uh, exhaustion at this point. Yeah, for sure. For sure you yeah. are. Um, and so, yeah, with that, um, we will hunker down for the night. Uh, I will advance us into the morning um, with enough time. Everybody can go ahead and take a rest. Uh, flag yourself for a rest. And uh, we will take a five minute, ten minute break, and uh, then we will get back after it. Um, if you are watching, please keep watching. We will be back soon. Oh, you want to pop up?
And we are back. Um, so, okay, first things first in the morning, uh, we are going to jump back over to the village squad um, and delete this guy because he has been cleared out and buried. Uh, the chieftain is back at her place. Um, and, um, oh, that's why you find yourselves, it is about nine in the morning when you all sort of gather and begin to head back. I'm assuming heading back outside the wall. Yeah. Um, are, are you guys up to uh, shenanigans with Centaur Man, or...? Yeah, so... Uh, yeah. so Alright, guys. Do not get used to this, but we are in a hurry. So, hop on and let's meet the others. Okay, and I need to check your fucking shit to make sure this fucking flies. <laughs> um... Do, do, Wait, do. Yeah, Unconscious form is six bulk, easily. so I mean, but they has to be able to carry all their gear and stuff too. So. I can also yeah. carry Rose. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, he would still it would still stack the bulk. Um, you can carry both of them. It you will be uh, encumbered with both of them. Um, so you can't move at full speed, but you're still probably faster than they are on foot. So yeah, okay. Um, what if we do the whole gliding thing? Is that a, is that, a, is that an option? I, we fly the dragon I, man like a kite. Fly the dragon man. So we, 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 oh, yeah, because so I because I can I can technically so, guy, yeah, and then he glides like a kite while I run. So I, as ludicrous as this is, the rule of cool demands that I allow it. Um. <laughs> Kicks so <laughs> I'm, I'm going to allow it, uh, and I'm going to say I I definitely want um you can't fly just like you travel longer distances when jumping. So I basically just jump a lot. <laughs> he jumps so, and I pull with my, with the rope attached. And you're gonna fly him like I'll a kite. Okay. So. I want an athletics check from Roma Straws, for sure. Or acrobatics, I'll take dealer's choice on this. And then from Delith, who's holding the rope. Um, uh, I'm gonna take my, my armor off for this and just give it to Delith to hold until we're done so I don't take this. <laughs> okay. Smart, I, like it. I don't even know what to ask for from Delith for holding this thing. Just give me a reflex saving throw. To not drop the rope? Yeah. To just... oh, 19 on my athletics. There it is. All right. I believe in my reflex. Okay. All right. And then uh, Kanos, give me a um, an athletics check. Oh, no. Oh, God. Damn it! So, it is you guys? You guys got two out of three for sure on this. Um, I was gonna say it's it's wait, it's wait, not wait, as wait 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 oh. we, we 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 just got back from break. We have a refresh. Oh, you're our, right. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. nice. Right, set this deck. I knew that was I knew that was coming. The <laughs> second that you said it, I was like, oh, he's got me dead to rights. <laughs> nice, I, mean, uh, nice, nice, nice. I did say that I would redo the hero point cards when we came back from break. Um, so yeah, let me get these dealt out. And for anyone that's watching, we use uh, Euro Point cards. It's way more fun. Um, there's those. And... Oh, when I got that double. Fuck yeah. I got a double ever in my life. That's This is my first one. <laughs> and there are those. 
Did I just give one or did I give three? You uh, you give one. Oh, yeah. that's what I thought. Oops. All I got was the one hero point card again. Sad. There you go. <clears throat> Whoa. So oh, I'm since gonna, uh, I'm gonna since I haven't actually one. used hero point yet, that doesn't add another one to me, does it? No, no, no. They reset. Yeah, so, okay. Let's just go. Uh, oh my god, I got a two again. Jeez. Double twos. <sighs> All right, um, so, so yeah, you don't get full speed uh, right. on this, but you're not nearly as limited as if you were encumbered. Um, Wait, can, uh, we can't. Can we use cards for other players or no? Not unless the card oh. specifies that you can. Uh, yeah, um, well, it just says play this after but, rolling a check, but um, but it, it's it's okay, okay. Um, because you guys arrive at the campsite. Um, what you fly? Okay. so you arrive at the campsite. Um, it's about takes you a couple hours. Um, you know, at the clip that you're going. I gotta get... And I imagine Alistair um, looking out over the plains at the most yeah. strange <laughs> and ridiculous sight he has ever seen. Yes, as as a statue, a crystalline statue man rides a centaur as they fly a dragon man like a kite. <laughs> uh, really I'm a beautiful <laughs> butterfly! <laughs> this <laughs> outlandish... <laughs> I, I am definitely gonna have to make a fucking wallpaper of this. Yes. Because <laughs> I just shake um, my head. Um, and I would say while well, like, during the two hours Thank that they you. were traveling, um, uh, Daigle and Alistair would likely have already be like scouting the 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 place again. Okay. Uh, um, checking the Gil, yeah, checking the trails and stuff. Gil would take a you know sort of sleepy or like basically Gil's sitting out at first light because he he straight up tells you like mm -hmm. I don't want the girls to wake up because she will fight us on going back yeah. so I want to be well on our way by the time she wakes oh. and so he's he's gone at first light um so let me get rid of all of that um actually we're just gonna leave it because I'm sure the next thing you guys are doing is we're going yeah, back, back over here friends. yeah yep. um which you guys would make the approach and so check double checking the trails that we found uh, there were there were four sets of tracks going in two it's sets of two tracks coming out. out right correct and where did the set of two tracks go uh the set of two tracks um you know that they went off uh to the sort of northwest from here okay kind of in uh, the direction of where that wolf following us was kind of going yes but you don't think that that's connected yeah I think it's more like the wolf hadn't seen anything like like us out here yet yeah. um so it's just it was curious it's me it's my uh my perfect <laughs> body <laughs> <laughs> my sparkling all right I we had a chance to uh oh, shit i forgot to do um the weather for today yeah, it's a new day I, I, we had a chance to tell um nice bright star and daggle uh what happened uh in the village yeah, uh yes yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. you've you guys have had, had time to catch up on everything that happened them telling you about the the shadows coming in the night and shit and them finding Molly and sending her back with Gil, who you guys would actually have passed Gil on the way and got a lot of this from him as well. Yeah. Um, Sorry, so, yeah. the guy ate the shaman. Joy! <laughs> God, we just can't get away from bad weather, man. Oh, every every kind of campaign, weather. man. It's a little, it's a little warmer today, What do you mean? It's fantastic weather. It's a little warmer, it but it's fucking hailing. It is, it is indeed hailing as you, uh, I imagine you guys are clustered underneath the overhang here at the ruins if you're uh, if you're out today. Right. Um, Alistair just holds his shield above his head. Yeah. <laughs> tink, tink, tink. All right. Well, um, 
I think first order of business is we check on the two sets of tracks that are that are in here that didn't leave. Yeah. Before we follow the rest. All right. I'm gonna listen at the door again. See if I hear that rustling again. Yeah, I'll also do that. All right. Um, you do not. It is right. quiet. The door opening time. Mm -hmm. Alistair raises his shields. He prepares to open the door. Oh, I did not mean to ping. Uh, Rogue will not do anything. He'll just open the door. It is very dark in here. Uh, yes, it is. Um. All right. I'm oh. gonna pull out his lantern. Uh -huh. Okay. Dream view just went nuts. <laughs> it yeah. just fucking it's, it's frozen. Over. Yeah, it froze. I refresh it. I don't know what's the deal with that. Probably all the lights that just went off. Yeah. At the same time, yesterday. It hasn't. We haven't refreshed it in a good hot minute. Yeah, it's because the yeah because the chat goes. Hour, but yeah, you can see where it fucking where it messes up the the chat goes, and then literally it just like starts to like <laughs> start. It just stops. And there we go. We're fixed. Um, yeah, you guys are inside the ruins. Uh, let me get a first and foremost. Yeah, the there are markings on the floors here, on the walls here. Um, and, uh, there are several, um, paintings on the walls. Uh, let me get secret perception all around. <clears throat> um... Romus Raz, um, you are pretty sure one of these paintings just moved. Uh, um, we're gonna do the old reliable. I'm just gonna spray some water at the painting. <laughs> uh, the figure in the painting jumps back and says, Oh my, I was not expecting that. Uh, please, please don't do that. Um, Roma Strauss will just kind of look at him. Like, he'll look at his pipe for a second and make sure that, like, what, what was in there was good, and then he'll just be like... <laughs> Where's the painting what located? A, yeah. Uh, it is this painting right here. Uh, oh. Daigle is just gonna walk up to it. Um, it's like, oh, I've never seen a moving picture before. Um, really? What, what, what are you? Uh... I am a Nimmerin, my Nimmerin brother. What I? What well, am I mean, I? you're 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 obviously in a picture on a wall. So, like, how how are you doing this? Are you alive, you know, or are you like? No, I'm a painting. Oh, I I see, and. Like you look at Diggle's face, obviously he doesn't see. <laughs> um, Picture perfect. Uh, um, well, what is uh, what is what is your purpose? 
What do you what do you do? I am here for your viewing pleasure. Is there huh. a reason you can talk and move? I was enchanted a long time ago. I... Why huh. not your uh, fe fellow paintings here? Uh, I don't know if you've looked at these other paintings, but my friend, uh, they have been defaced quite horribly. And I have had no one to talk to for many long years. Huh. The uh, one who enchanted you, do you happen to know who that is? I haven't a clue. Hmm. Well, um... Your existence must be very interesting. But before they were defaced, did all the other paintings talk and move like you do? Yes. I quite missed that one over there. She was lovely. <laughs> Delightful to look at. Oh, f oh. Yeah. I'm going to come back here next level and I'm going to do something for you, man. <laughs> I, I get my artistry stuff next level. <laughs> Um, um, yes, unfortunately, I'm confined here, and uh, there is another painting that I can move to um, freely uh, in the uh, the capital, and another one in a monastery, but unfortunately, I think that one is in a box because it's completely dark, and I can't see a damn thing when I'm there. The, the capital, you say? Capital yes. of what? Why the capital of Rimora, friend? What have you, have you people seriously been living under rocks? What? Uh, just uh, behind one. <laughs> you could say that. Uh, what do you mean? Well, um, it's like these giant walls. These are these are ruins. Um, we've we live in a valley near here. There's a giant wall that's blocked it off for. As long as anyone can remember, and yeah, stories only recently oh. it uh, it it's opened up so we could leave. There are yeah. stories that Rimora is an ancient kingdom where we are from. I wonder how long it's been. I can help you there. Um, I, I, I'm sorry. I I totally forgot what we came here for. Uh, you wouldn't happen to see any uh any men come this way. Oh, um, yes, indeed I did. There were four chaps, they came in. Um, uh, one of them was wounded. Uh, well, actually, two of them were wounded, excuse me. Um, the two that were wounded, they all went downstairs. Um, I told them, don't go down there. Uh, but they wouldn't listen to me. And they went down, and then the two that weren't wounded came back up and fled from this place. So it looks like we need to go check downstairs. What's downstairs? Well, there's an infestation of sort just down there, and you... Well, unless you have salt water, I really wouldn't go traipsing around down there. Hmm. Hmm. I believe we may have encountered this infestation outside. Don't worry, friend. We are more than capable. Like some, some cool shambling horrors. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, I obviously can't be of any real assistance to you, as I am, in fact, a painting. But uh, what I can do is uh, wish you the best of luck and give you a uh, well-meaning and firm request that you please take me with you when you come back out, if you survive. Well, I mean, yeah. If, if my uh, friend, I will also take, take you your your fellow your fellow paintings out with us. I believe uh, are now are like the defacing. Like, would I be able to like like art them back up, restore them? Yeah. Theoretically, yeah. Yeah, I believe that uh, given some time and some practice, I will be able to perhaps restore some of your comrades. Oh well, excellent. Um, well, indeed, best of luck to you. Uh, like I said, I would not go down there without a healthy bit of salt water. 
Is where there anywhere nearby where we might find some? Uh, unfortunately, no, you would have to make it. Well, I mean, you could go out to the coast, but it is quite a trek from here. We didn't bring any, like... I don't suppose any of you have any salt. Uh, no, nothing more than what's in my rations. Um... I don't know. You can use your tears. <laughs> I have... Well, yeah, I, th I, I think, have... um... There may I think be we some, will manage. Uh, you may check the stores, and he kind of like points around the corner this direction. It's hard to see where he's pointing because he's like two dimensional. Yeah. Uh, he's like, <laughs> over there. Um, there may be some in the stores. Okay. Is this salt water right here? Thank you. Um, no, these are um, large walls of text. Um, oh. What kind of text? I'm just gonna bring him up <laughs> off the wall. Can you read this, friend? <laughs> uh, oh, you're just picking the painting up? He says, yeah. um, why, yes, I, yes, I can. You mind reading it to us? Um, I, I can do that for you indeed. Um, Uh, the ornamental piece is the main centerpiece of the garden, or in this case, the ruin. It was specifically designed to be, designed to be the focus of attention. The huge stone monolith that is adorned with a sigil that consists of a snake on top of a mountain. The huge monolith bears the following words. Solipsism beast. Uh, hmm. You think that this is an... Uh, Alistair already got it. You, you think that this is an anagram. Okay, uh, it's not translated for us, though, so I don't know if you can... Um, it will be translated for you if you speak the language. Um, but none of, okay. it looks like none of you do, so... But yeah. old guy will tell you, um, painting man. Painting man? The, the guy in the painting tells you that, uh... Solipsism beast. Oh, nope, sorry. Solipsism basket. Oops. Basket. I delete that. And Daigle doesn't say that. Yeah, Daigle doesn't say that. But yeah. I need to have someone selected because this map has levels. So. Oh, okay, okay. Solipsism basket. Um, and then, like, what we're looking for is an anagram of this? Yeah, it is, yeah it's an anagram for something. Can we tell if any of the letters are... Uh, he says that uh, it appears that the raised characters are just the alphabet, and you would spell out the answer. Mm. And all that's on there is just the, the two words, solipsism basket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what about the other two monoliths in here? Or is that just like all of them say the same thing? That's the. Basically, that's the. The central one. Um, and the other two are. Um, the sort of like alphabet panels. Okay. Okay. And he said that the raised letters were just the alphabet, not anything in that actual, like, phrase? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a raised alphabet um, on the two, you know, stone panels. And then the central panel, uh, it looks like the, the, the thing that you are anagramming is solipsism basket. Okay. But that's what I'm saying. There's no, there's no bold or anything on solipsism basket. No. Hmm. I wonder if there's a. Um, could I do like a a search? See if there might be a clue in this room as to what the the answer may be. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. You can. Um. That's just a seek check. Hmm. 
get my lantern bonus. So I'm trying to notice things. Ah, oh, the meme uh, continues. Oh my god. That's what five in one god. night. That's five one. nat ones. God. I like how our skill jockey just can't not just can't roll, roll to save his life today. Another one. Another well, one. Everyone else uh, also gets pl uh, plus one from the lantern to 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 notice shit. So you guys should also do it as well. <laughs> um, it's just for a, for a seek, I guess. Yeah, yeah. seek check. Seek perception, right? This uh, just in. Skill jockey, another fail. More at one. God damn it. I literally have... Uh, um. So, just, ugh. <laughs> hey there, buddy. You gonna be fine? Another one. Very sad. Yeah, that's so, fucking five in one night. The, the reason that you couldn't, that you didn't notice it, is uh, it's actually on the wall behind Kanos. Uh, or <laughs> is the following uh, phrase. Excuse me, Kanos. Um. <laughs> Put it in reverse. Put it in reverse. Beep, beep, beep. Wow, don't be mean to our centaur. <laughs> Rather thick. That is only back wall. Oh shit. I can't read that. Um, painting man, can you read this as well? Uh, there are people in the party who can read that. Oh. Most difficult works. I'm gonna do that real quick. Actually, the, the oh, hang on. Yeah, I, I, there's actual. Hold on. Hmm. I might have an answer. Oh. Uh, add a character. Hang on one second while I type this out to make sure I'm correct. Uh, because I was writing it down on paper. There. There, there is the. Uh, what is actually the most difficult? You want the caps. Yeah, impossible tasks. I think. <clears throat> I believe this might be the answer. On terrible anagrams, I hope that's right. <laughs> I mean, it seems with, right. With the guidance, seems... guidance of Painting Man who introduces himself as... Uh, he's get the, he gets a name. Yeah, he does indeed have a name. Harbor Boss? Uh, we got sidetracked. Oh, We're here to sorry. rescue people. We should put this on hold. <laughs> well, but this might hold keys to what's no, downstairs. There's his name. Aaron Alathon yes. Register the Seventh. Hmm. Can I just call you Ty? I don't see why not. You are the first friends I've had, and I don't even know how long, so. Probably thousands of years, friend. At least hundreds. Oh. Dear me. Uh, we um, should, uh... As you punch in impossible tasks, though, this uh, monolith gives a click and out pops a... <laughs> uh, out pops a small... Like um, like, it look, almost looks like there's a drawer built into the stone at the base of the monolith. Did it open all the way, or did it just kind of unlatch? No, it just kind of like unlatched and like popped out a little bit. Uh, Alistair is going to pull the drawer open with the tip of his curved sword. <laughs> all right. 
Uh, is there anything in the drawer? Remember to be de delicate. He's, he's being so... like super careful about like you know. Whoa. Oh, oh shit. hello. A research that's opportunity. That's the path that's yeah, I this like large this. leather bound tome is ornately appointed with silver scroll work and a large teal trim stone. No title adorns it, but inside its pages are. Uh, inside its pages are many diagrams and illustrations alongside the text, which appears to be written in at least three different languages. This has a research time of one hour, and there are, as you can see, several different projects with, with it. Okay. I'm well, uh, uh, chapter three, if you guys don't mind. No, I was going to say, it's, it's, if, it's one, it's book, one so. book, so I was gonna say, I'll take the book and store it away. If no one objects, we can oh, tackle no, this no, later. No, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. When we're actually doing the research. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm sure this will be more a collective effort for stuff. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Different, yeah. different things uh, we can roll. Um, you guys um, found what is the single most important research project uh, that you could find? So, nice. so in that early game. Good job. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, uh, so yeah, well, we will. I'll, I'll take that that book and place it in my inventory. That book is uh, just about mm -hmm. as important as that holy water for us. Uh, speaking uh, of, uh, are, are, did we find any salt while we were searching the room? You did. You found a small bag of salt. Um, okay. Can I actually just make like a huge bomb of it? Like I'll just press it, like press the digitization like into the salt bag. It was um, like a big salt. <laughs> the the uh, the tyrant, the painting. He says. Uh, Simply coat your weapons in the uh, the salt water. That'll do the trick. I, I was about to say. That... Okay, yeah, I thought we needed like actual. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I'll take I'll take out my water skin, and uh, we'll mix up the uh, the salt and the water. No, no, no need to waste your own water. I have precious dissertation. I'll just do it. Yeah. Yay! Right. And you guys have. And salt water coated weapons oh yeah or what lies below and yeah we need to make tracks i hang ty back up and i say i will be back for you sir good luck i uh, i appreciate it i hope you fare well uh, there was only one of those board puzzles in that room right or did the yes, other yes there's just just the one okay also okay what is this thing real quick uh, that is a stone pedestal, and it looks like something was once there, but has been removed. Okay. And the other side? Uh, that is an altar of some kind. Um, like, very clearly, like, a religion <clears throat> thing. All right. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Alistair, yes, if you will. Uh, Alistair is going to enter a defensive posture and step downstairs. Daigle's already down here. Um, is there a wall there that I shouldn't be seeing through? No, there's a door open. Well, no, I mean, like, oh, no, I see... No, that's that's the void zombie that's dead on the upper level. Uh oh Okay. Yeah, let me delete him. And... Uh, this door is open. Oh. Oh. Hey, look, uh, Bert's is here. Um... Um... Is he he's near death? Is he uh, conscious? He, no, he is uh he is not conscious at the moment. Is he stable? Um he but he does not look to be in a good way. Not much, but it's on his work. <laughs> am I am I just not allowed? Uh oh, did it not let you go down? No. <laughs> Just he's large. There you go. Sorry, sir. I did not know that it was not letting you down there. <laughs> nay, nay. Probably because it doesn't know which one he's trying to stand on because he's technically yeah. Yeah. too big. Um, I did, but you notice I did make this first area accommodating for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, um, I was like, if we're going to have a large size player character, we're going to accommodate him a little bit. Um, um, yeah, I guess healed Burt's a little bit. Um, 
yeah. Um, yeah, if Roma Strauss healed him a little bit. Um, you can also give me a medicine or nature check to try and figure out what's up with him because he looks he looks sick. Uh, could I do like a? I just want to do a check to see if he's cursed or haunted or something. And if it's maybe something like of that nature, while one of them does the, the nature medicine. Ah. Uh. Do, do, do. Um. Uh, it is not curse or haunt. Okay. Uh, uh, it is. Uh, yeah, this is some sort of disease, but you, it's not something you are familiar with because you don't think it's natural. Hmm. Um, Kanos, this you're looking at, um, uh, two pedestals, uh, atop which either, either one is a fountain of like sort of teal liquid. And this is a throne with a skeleton, uh, uh, sitting on it. Kind of looks like it's like attached oh. to the throne. Uh, it is. It is chained to this throne. Uh, could I remove it from the throne and sit it in one of the piles of liquid or bowls of liquid? Uh, yep. Yeah. What do you want me to roll for that? Um, you don't need to roll anything for it. Um, you can just take him down. Uh, the chains and stuff are old, they're not hard to break. You're able to just, you know, bust them loose. Um, setting it in the fountain doesn't doesn't do any, doesn't do anything either way. Like the the whatever that sort of teal and white mm -hmm. liquid in there is, it doesn't like seem to harm the skeleton. Um, um, do uh, some sort of check, recall knowledge or something to figure out see if I can tell what this is. Um, you can give me occultism. Rhymora lore. I think if there's anything else that really applies, society. But society's gonna be a little bit, a little bit harder. Okay, I'm gonna go occultism. Well, I assist him. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Does he want to guidance me? Oh, damn it. I will, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I will guidance him. All right. Um, so he's got a... There's a... He got a negative one and a plus one. Um, because it's failure, failure to aid, but he did give you guidance, so... Okay. He canceled, um, canceled out his failure. I'll also look right. and see what the... Let me look at something real quick. Not sure if. Okay, that's specifically for creatures. All right. Uh, okay. This. Uh, here's his tilt streak, white liquid. 
Yeah, well, Lega like, is a mystical substance utilized by the ancient Kynarans to perform incredible feats of magic. Lega appears as a viscous, teal-streaked white liquid. While Lega imparts some substantial benefits to the user, it is also known to be quite addictive. Uh, as soon as you become aware of what it is, uh, Delith, you don't really know why, but it you want nothing to do with it. Uh, um, I, De like, Delith was, like, about to poke at it, um, as he was, like, thinking about it, and then as soon as he realized not, he just, Not like, Daigle, rips. Delith. Oh, Delith, oh. Yeah, Delith. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, Daigle, you, to you, you, um, just, you know what it is, but... How you feel um, about it is up to you. Delith is the only one that, like, they, like you remember, like Delith, you f feel like you remember something about this stuff. Um, trying to. Let's see. Let's see. Do you have a container we can put some of this in for, you know, looking into it later. I mean, we know what it does. Uh, basically, lets you tap a ley line as if it were like it lets you tap a ley line even if you're not near a ley line. Um, oh, would we know that? I mean, yeah, I know what it is. Yeah, Diggle, um, Diggle rolled and knows he knows what it is. Do we know what ley yeah. lines are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ley lines, yeah, yeah. Are pretty, ley lines are pretty common, common knowledge. knowledge. Yeah, yeah. Um, Basically, uh, when you for this, when you cast a spell, after all to the spell is if you would just use your choice of either reach spell or widen spell. Um, the backlash is you become stupefied one until the end of your next turn. Um, but yeah, so oh, it's only really it's only really useful for spellcasters. But uh, wouldn't hurt to carry some with us. Just, just in case. Um, Can I roll anything to see, maybe get a feeling of why? From like my, maybe I can piece something together from like, why you have this inexplicable yeah. feeling of just. I don't want to touch those. I don't like it. Never am. Or, or society. I have. Uh, Give oh, me a, give me a secret one. Here comes the Ren Mora. Um, you feel like your creator uh, disagreed with its use, but that it was like, like you're you're sort of like kind of getting strained memories of like it was like an ideological thing he. He didn't like it. didn't Didn't want to see it used. But so that it was commonly like accepted. For kind of thing, so, like... Yeah, he didn't like what it stood for, but it was societally like commonly accepted. You guys can play with that. Uh, just don't don't bring that near me. Um, also, uh, so... could I could I try a like? academia lore to try and identify what the sickness or something that birds are suffering from yeah 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 academia lore medicine nature well not nature because it's not natural before i do that i'm going to uh recall what i've seen in the stars and see if i can give myself an advantage on this <laughs> i gain nothing but I don't gain a penalty either. So, uh, yeah. We'll We're also just gonna make that. A medicine check to recall knowledge on this. Are you gonna aid me? Oh, it's the that, I don't know why that didn't roll secret, but. You're good. Uh, that'll pick you up a plus two, though. Um, if he's aiding you. 17. Um, or is he just which... rolling it himself? He, he didn't really um, say that he was aiding me, so. I was just I was just doing my own check. Doing your own. Um let me I gotta look. And, and if that's a failure, I have okay. dubious knowledge. So um
Uh, he's got some sort of unnatural parasite. Oh, jeez. Um, and he only has a few days left to live if it's not, uh, if he's if it's not like he's not cured of it. Uh, this is a disease. Okay, so he's got a parasite. Um, can I like? Um, I want to like with my lantern now. I want to look him over, see if I can find a, a point of entry for the parasite. If it's like a, uh, you were able to find it pretty quick. Uh, looking him over, he's got a big ass bite on his leg that very clearly looks infected. Okay. Um, Black veins coming off of the wound. Question. It's looking pretty gnarly. It, if it's a parasite, could I theoretically use sanctuary on mm. birds and essentially? No. <laughs> Damn no. it! Nice try. <laughs> I like where you're thinking at. about. It, I'm like, oh, can I make this but, parasite just not want to hurt him? <laughs> but no. Damn. Okay. Um. Hmm. How far up his leg does the uh, does the infection seem to have spread? And, and is that the, is that the I only mean, place that the infection is located? No, like it's all through him. He's looking uh, terrible. Um, like you can't even get him to come to consciousness. And like I said, based on U 2s assessment, it looks like he's maybe got a couple days if he's not doesn't get some sort of treatment for this. Okay. Um. What do I know of parasites? Do I know of any like? I mean, that's 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 all yeah. you know. Okay. That, that's what you got with your tracks. Um. So it's definitely outside of my wheelhouse. Um. Only thing we can really do is get him back to town. Uh, to the apothecary there who might can help him. Uh, um. As all of this is going on, I need a better noise than that. <laughs> what the hell that was, was that? Fucking weak. Um, <laughs> that was oh, a bit too much. <laughs> this was that. I just need like a good like. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, that sounds like a door being. They are coming. That is coming we from here. Out. What the fuck? Oh, it's coming from the other doors. The from, other, the closed doors. Yeah, the closed doors. Oh, shit. And yeah, and as you approach, there's a, just a thud. Oh. Uh, something is on the other side of those doors. They have okay. a cave troll. <laughs> Troll in the dungeons. Um. Yeah. So like, there's obviously the undead things that the uh, that Tyron warned us about behind this door. Uh, we should probably clear them out. Our, our weapons are salted. Yeah. Our weapons are seasoned nicely. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, so yeah, Kana, do you want to come up this way? I'm stuck. Oh, you're stuck. <laughs> there he is. Oh, shit. Oop. Oh, no, did he wind up going up the stairs? By he himself? went upstairs back, so I gotta move him back down. Everybody makes his face. I'm gonna move him right there. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, whoops. Did you just go through the door? Okay. Yeah. There you go. You back. Um, <laughs> and I'm gonna... Since, since there's quite literally nowhere else to stand, I'm yeah, just there's not a ton here, of space. So... Where is Della at? Oh, there I thought, he is. I thought he was okay. over here somewhere. I see him. Yeah, he's he's right back over here around the corner. Um, I'm safe. So yeah, if you wanna, I'm in defensive posture, weapon drawn. Um, since so, do we know like, do we know for sure what's behind these doors? Do you know for sure what's behind these doors? Yeah, I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, we don't. So, all right, never mind then. I was gonna. I was do some. I was gonna do something cheeky, but uh. Our friend the painting simply so, said that it was creatures weak to salt water. Yeah. 
Can I share the face with our boy? And... Oh. That's gonna be initiative. Okie doke. Also, uh, Lantern Implement does not apply to initiative. Oops. So, well, too late. Too yeah. late! It doesn't affect it. You're just at the same spot anyway, so... Oh, these are different things. Yes, yes they are. Are they frogs? Cthulhu-looking uh, frogs. These things... I mean, I guess I should yeah. just do a recall knowledge check, shouldn't I? Yeah, but I gotta... I got a picture. That's what you're looking at. Hulu dogs. Um, Nasty. Uh, and I don't think they're good as boys, though. Good as boys, they want to bite your. No, ass. not with that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> they're good dogs. And sea doggo is a good doggo. Time to start another campaign with a, Bad with a dogs doggo are born, pet. They're made. <laughs> All right, it is Romus Ross's turn. All right. Um. Hang on, I got. I got to take on my combat posture. There we go. We're gonna magic weapon up for this fight, and then. Uh. You know what else? We're gonna dimensional assault. Ballsy already. Ah, oh, I can't even see where the circle is. Oh. That's... I'm in a bad spot. I guess I yeah. can't... I can't dimensional assault behind him. Um... Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, because I would be like, Kanos would be like in front of one door. Kind of parked like diagonal. But. Alright, here we go. I'm getting angry at him. Oh, there's another. Sorry, I didn't move you. Yeah, there's two of them there. Okay. I had to put you where you could get. I had to check your movement and put you where you could go, so. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, that one takes uh, a year nine damage, and you're putting it on this one. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, and with your weapon salted, that does. Holy fuck! A lot. And Does that have weakness off? five? I'm gonna I'm gonna play my uh, channel life force card. Play on your turn after you have s spent all your focus points. Gain one focus point. Um. Wait. Play on your turn. Never mind. Never mind. I have to play this next turn. Uh, and that's my turn. It's, it's still your turn, right? Yeah, it's still well, your turn. I'm so not, you I'm end your turn. I'm not a. It's like a card that I need like with actions. So. Oh okay. okay. Oh, it, it takes okay. an action. Yeah. Oh, no, um, it doesn't take an action. What does that mean? Basically, if I play it on my turn when I have zero focus points, I can gain a focus point, but I have to use it that turn. Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha. It's like a temporary um, focus point that lets you just like yeah. blast something. Basically. Ow. Uh, oh, Jesus. Uh, Romus Ross is going to take a big chunk of damage and. Goodbye. Oh. No. That's your fortitude save. You just ignored whatever bad thing was going to happen to you. Oh. Um, the crit train. <laughs> sure. Uh, he is going in for a second attack, though. Uh, <laughs> oh. That's actually, damn. Um, and Roma Straws is going to go down. Goodbye, cool. Um, they surely and... die one. 
This thing is going in for... Uh, it's going in for a third attack. Ooh. Oh, no! Oh, shit! As Roma Straws goes immediately to dying three, and the situation is dire. Um, oh, fucking hell. Um, but that is its turn, and it is Kanos' turn. You guys just hear Roma Straws <laughs> from the other room. <laughs> just get fucking wrong. Whatever a wounded dragon can sounds like. Big hit. Ooh. Um. Help me, Tom uh, Cruise. Uh, <laughs> it's my turn. Uh, Hold on, it took one damage? Oh, it died, okay. It died, yeah. I um, can't see it from where It I'm should standing. have actually taken like 28 damage. Yeah. But. Do you have one more action? No, uh, that, was a, that was a power attack. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Uh, oh, so I, can, I can see him. I can seize him. Uh, I have to decide. Do I want to run in there? Or do I want to? Uh, uh, yeah. Let's let's do it this way. So I'm going to stride. Oh yeah, there they are. And. we are going to do a single action heal spell. Uh, it's just going to be that one. On Romastrovs. It's a whopping 2 HP. Oh, uh, I'm yeah. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, you're still in super dire straits, though. Yeah, if you go down again, you are dead. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's go for broke. Um, I'm going to hit him with a lay on hands for the last action. And then I, I put that spell effect on myself, right? Yes. Yes. So you get the six HP and then you get the, yeah, the AC. And that is all three of my actions. I really hope I don't get eaten. And it's Daigle's turn. Right. Uh, I'm gonna, I guess, stride up this way. I can see. I thought maybe there was a live one that I could see. Um, you can see that there is one here. It's just okay. kind of like on the other side of the door. Yeah. 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 Open the door. Um. So yeah, I want to first off make it my hunted prey. Um. There's an action for the uh for the effect. Uh. Then I'm going to. One action, exploit vulnerability. And that's uh, DC, standard DC for the level of the creature. All right. Um, okay, and that is also at the bright light of my lantern. Uh, so here's that. Exploit vulnerability. That is a success. <laughs> okay. So I do get I get the uh 
since uh, since I'm already got I'm already exploiting motor weakness, I'm going to apply um, personal antithesis against the creature, um, which does two plus half half my level uh, additional damage. Also, it looks so like the the stream. you're already you're willing. Is it better if you're already doing type damage to it? Because you have assaulted weapon, and it's so, assault water. Right. Uh, it, it, that's its best weakness. I'm assuming mm -hmm. that's it, that's its yes. highest weakness. Yeah. So I'm already doing that since I have the salt, salted weapon. So that's so why I'm not getting doing this on weakness. top of it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Cool. 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 I'm just not. Yeah. I'm new to Thelmaturge, so just clarifying yeah. some stuff. So I'm, I'm just since, since yeah, my weapon already applies the mortal weakness. Um, I'm going for the personal antithesis because it stacks on top. Now, it, like I can only take one or the other with it, with exploit vulnerability. I can't do both from my class feature. Um, but if I already have a weak, a mortal weakness, I can also do personal antithesis. Anyway, long explanation short. Uh, I am then going to go do a, a regular recall knowledge check with um the, the i need to reload the stream if you haven't already did uh, yeah okay i got it um, i couldn't see anything, so yeah yeah so um i'm gonna do a regular recall knowledge check again with esoteric lore um but this one i can apply my bonus from on prey all right yeah you just roll the same thing Is this another Thaumaturge thing, or is this actually a recall knowledge? This is an actual recall knowledge. Okay. Um, so this would be against whatever DC, like whatever unspecific yeah, yeah. lore DC it would be. Okay. So you're, yeah, you're so good then. Um, this thing is resistant to fire damage. Okay. Um, and that was just a normal success? Okay. Cool. Um, well, that is my entire turn. So yeah, don't oh. use fire on it. Or oh, sorry, don't use uh, yeah, don't use fire on it. <laughs> I was fishing for that crit, but the way I've been rolling tonight, I'm lucky like, yeah, I got this, uh, success. <laughs> oh, bad news. Yeah. Uh, and this thing seems to ignore Roma straws. Yeah. Hmm. Um. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> right. Um. And then. It is going to make a map. Just rolling a 19. God damn it. Um, but that is its turn. It is Delith's turn. For the love of God, get in here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? Save me, Tom Cruise. Getting bit by the doggos, bro. I thought it was a nice doggo. <laughs> oh my, what are you guys doing? Okay, I got this. Do it. I feel like it. No, just one round feels bad. Damn. And now I will strike. 
And he gets a hold of it. Oh, yeah. Max damage. Yeah, max damage. And uh, he will actually. Uh, what? You'll actually just put that one down. Nice. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. This is Robustraza's turn. Alright, I'm gonna get my ass up. <laughs> and then we're gonna do a... Uh, we're gonna play my focus card, so I get my focus spell back. And a rejuvenating flames. And Delt doesn't need it, but why not? Um, okay. So this guy's got to make a reflex save. Yeah. She's going to fail. All right, so here's the damage. <laughs> and here's the healing. So... Uh, they he resists the fire, <laughs> unfortunately, and doesn't take any damage. Um, but all three of you guys get healed for some. And that is my turn. All right, that guy's dead. Kano's his turn. All right, see the other one ahead of me, so I'm just gonna... Oh, no. You're gonna have to open that other door, otherwise you'll have to squeeze. So that's one action. Yeah. Two actions. <clears throat> a one, a two, a three. Just, I think you should just hit it. I don't think you need the flanking. Okay. Save me from the bad doggo. Oh, jeez, twenty four damage. And boom, that one goes down. Easy peasy. And we are off of initiative. That was quite scary. Yeah, it was almost a character loss session one. Now, the moment that combat ends, I'm checking over myself. Because I'm assuming that bite from that thing is probably what bit our buddy in the other room, so... Uh, give me a... Um, a medicine check. Where is my medicine? God. We're still in combat movement. There you go. Fixed. Okay, thank you. And uh, I'm, I'm actually coming in with my uh, my lantern, so you get the plus one for checking yourself over. Okay. <laughs> roll. Oh, actually, does this that hang on? Da -da. What kind of bonus does the lantern give? It's a circumstance. Damn, does not stack. Yeah. Well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna use my Wait. second or three. Let me double check that because it might. Well, re regardless. Bonus. Oh, cool. So what we'll yeah. stack. I'm gonna use my second of three uses of astrology and see if I can't stack up some bo- Oh, God! Uh, never mind. I just counteract your, uh... your bonus for your lantern. So this medicine check is gonna suck. Because it's just a flat plus one. And, uh, secret. Oh. oh, my bad. You're good. Um... I was already rolling when you said secret. Oh, good. You're pretty <laughs> sure that you and Roma Straws are infected. Mm. Dun, dun. Bum, bum, bum. Not good. Um, 
Well. So, do we make a? Are we? Do we have to make any saves? Or not at the moment. Okay. Do diseases have a set like time frame? Every every certain amount of time, you make a save, and it progresses or regresses depending on yeah. the result. And you, you guys have yet to successfully identify what the disease is to to learn any of that kind of stuff. Can uh, I make like a nature check to see if we can make like an anti venom with like their blood or something? Uh, nature will not work. It's not natural. Uh, can I roll? Uh, it has to be. Uh, has to be. Uh, basically, it needs to be medicine or some sort of magic. So arcana. Um. And so we determined this no, is no, a no, parasite, like not, uh, correct? Yeah, like you know, it's a parasite. So this parasite, would you would you rule that a parasite is technically a creature? No. No. Oh, how about it this? It is a disease. It is how a about disease. how about this? You can't use sanctuary. Uh, it's what, not, I was I was gonna say because I use magical because my recall knowledge bonus from my lantern help, but so basically just a medicine check. It is yeah, it's pretty much just a medicine check, or if you have uh, I guess aberration lore. Yeah, we don't have any of that. Does Lantern but, help this? No, it won't, because it only affects yeah. the creature stuff. That's what he was just saying. Yeah. yeah. I tried. There it is. No. Oh, there shit. Is. Oh, my oh. God. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, At least somebody can roll tonight. Does it count if it's untrained? <laughs> I mean, it, it, it does indeed. He can roll it, trying to identify it. Um, yeah. yeah. He he just can't take like like the actions to like treat wounds and stuff yeah. that require medicine, but yeah, he's just trying to identify it and he did Natty 20 it. <laughs> um Don't take this away from me, Savage. <laughs> <laughs> You've been around Ginger too long. <laughs> Spreading. Larf oh, looks young. Ugh. Uh, fuck. Oh. What the hell? Okay. Well, at least I, uh, at least I know I'm immune to this. That's true. Yeah. You guys are fucked. <laughs> when did can chat stop on this stream? Oh wow. Fuck, that's a ways back. Yeah, I probably just need another refresh. Yeah. Um. Well, I suggest we finish our business here as quickly as possible. Yeah. Because Bert's will be much farther along in this disease than we will be. We know he has two days left, so yeah, but we can we can we can clear this place in less than a day, and then we still have time to get him back. So we, uh, we also need to look. So there's someone else in here too, because we only saw two tracks. I mean, we two people need left. To figure out what, what the cure is for this. Well, none of us really have the expertise for that, unfortunately. I think That's we're why we have to get back, back to, to town. Yes, yeah, so the apothecary can look at them. All right. Well, yeah. Let's get that. Uh, All right. Let's uh, keep on. I'm still wounded, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah I I I may have found their nest. Um, seek this area. Um, where he is. One one second. Uh, okay. I'm gonna come back to you, Kanos, because you obviously found some stuff, and then uh, Daigle obviously also found some stuff. Um. So, all right, Kanos, let me, let me roll up some loot. Give me the loot, give me the loot. Nice. Um, I like loot. You get loot if you survive your disease. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, we could get loot now, and then when we die, you take it off a corpse. That's true. <laughs> I could do that to your, my friend. What do you mean? Sure you could. I can't. You just met us, like, yeah, yesterday. What do you mean? You guys are my first friends I've ever met. Special. You you and Tyron both. I mean, I, I don't know about Ramaskaz, but, uh... I'm, I'm pretty hardy. If if I don't make it, nobody's making it. So <laughs> all right, all this stuff is going into one second. Hardy inventory. Yeah. But hold up just a second. Um, before you go rampage in there. <laughs> Bitch, that's going to be rampaging off in there. Is it? Yeah, there it is. Um. Just sitting here waiting, waiting with bated breath for the loot we're about to receive. <laughs> All right, party, party inventory for you. Um, oh, what's the unusual weapon? Right off the oh. bat, I see a kopesh. <laughs> <laughs> I see an unusual oh, weapon. A lot of unusual things. Oh yeah. Um. um nine gold and seven silver. The um, the identification, unless somebody has quick, that is a kind of a time-consuming process. That's why yes. I threw it all in the party inventory because it's kind of a, yeah, a thing yeah. you guys will have to take a take a whack at. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll yeah, do it so I'm pretty um, sure we found their nest on this end. Let me uh, uh, let me go over here to the stream view. And grab Daigle's point of view since he's got the the perfect dark vision. Uh huh. Um, and uh, as you guys come into this chamber, uh, give me a perception check. Secret. Uh, yes, please. Red Rover, Red Rover, send Kano's right over. And the meme continues. <laughs> no way. Oh my, my god. god. What a fucking hero. <laughs> and another one. Six nat ones, dude. Holy we, shit. We need, we need a counter for the stream now. <laughs> <laughs> How many How times can Diggle roll can in that Diggle one? Can Diggle roll in that one? <laughs> Uh, however, uh, Kanos, you immediately notice that these things right here are, uh, so like one of them sort of wiggles and you notice the form of one of those fucking tentacle dogs that you just fought, uh, underneath the surface of the crystal. Does it look like a like a pup, like a small one, or no? It, these both there's. It looks like there's two of them in these two big like crystal cocoon things. 
and they look to be full grown and uh, sort of like waking up. Can I smash the cocoons? Do um, we have any salt water left? Do we have any salt left? I think we just uh, dump salt water on these things. Um. Yeah, you guys can, I will say for sure that you can buy like a combination of Kano smash and salt water dump. You guys can just, you know, take care of this without our combat. Cool. Okay. We don't want to fight those things. <laughs> yeah. That's, Kano's is just like, nope, rampage. And you guys just douse the area with salt uh, water. Would you notice that the salt water is like a, an acid to their skin? It literally like melts them up yeah. <clears throat> um, All right. does anybody have like a uh, like a sack or anything like that I mean I've got a satchel um, additionally unfortunately the other thing that uh, Kanos finds is uh, where uh, is it at um, not that guy Uh, you find the body of Paul Fullharth, um, and uh, it looks like something burst out of his uh, chest. Um, he was known as a like large game hunter, um, and for being forthright, loyal, and wise beyond his years, if a bit humorless and monotone. Uh, his only family is Tobin the Elder, who is his granduncle. Hmm. So, um, yeah, uh, Dale's gonna look over at Kanos and says, Hey, uh, Kanos, do you mind, uh, picking him up? We should carry him out of this place and give him proper funeral rites. Yeah, that's fine. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna head back up. A um, couple of us, I think, should grab um, Bert's as well and take him up um, with us. I, I want to yeah. I want to borrow your satchel. And um, from the bodies of those dogs, just in case we, like, can, you know, can find anything out what you know if, if, take if some samples kind of thing yeah i'm gonna rip yeah. the head off of one and, <laughs> and the leg off of it and then put it in the satchel that way like okay. you know i uh um, so water dog thing you know? i was gonna say um <laughs> do you want a survival check for me to process one of these dogs um to process one of these dogs uh yeah um, process Jesus. one of these dogs. <laughs> um, these these are called Akata. Um, yeah. <laughs> they're aberrations. Yep. They're definitely not <laughs> good doggos, and no one should feel guilty about us, quote unquote, processing, processing them. <laughs> There's a survival check. I don't know if that'd um, be secret or not. I don't think it did. Things you can say. It didn't, in, didn't necessarily have to be. Um, things you can say in D&D that you can't say in d and But uh, it... Um, yeah, doesn't, doesn't have to be. Um, and, uh, but it, it, but it is. It's fun. Um, At this point, I just don't, I don't want to see my rolls anymore. <laughs> no, I want to. You have to show them. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, that's more funny that way. Um, I demand tribute. I need to see all the ginger's rolls. <laughs> all right. So you guys are basically collecting birds, collecting samples. Okay. You processed one of the uh, Akata. You can add, you add uh, Akata parts to your inventory. We will do it as per the uh, monster parts thing and give them a value of um, Is there a monster parts three, three gold. Huh? 
Is there a, like a way to no, do, no, no, way to to do that? Or? No, no, no. You just make a make a treasure item in your inventory okay. with yeah. worth three parts. Gold, call it then... a cod parts. Um, and um, and yeah, we we will return uh back to the village. Um. And I think that that is where we will call it for the night. Nice. Um, that's a pretty good, pretty good stopping point. And we just went for what, like five hours. Yeah, yeah, a little bit over <laughs> five hours. Um, yeah. So let me, uh, let me end the stream. Thank, thank you guys you for are... joining us tonight. Yeah. yeah, anybody that joined, thanks for watching. And if you're watching this on VOD, thanks for watching it that way. Uh, do all the stuff YouTube wants you to do, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, come around again for more content.